Hello friends, I am Nair Sheikh and today in this video I will teach you how you can create and design a professional and beautiful website in 2020 using WordPress and only free resources. So to create this website, we will be using only free resources. We will be using the best and free WordPress theme OceanWP, the best and free page builder Elementor and we will also be using few more awesome free plugins. Now my main aim in this video is to show you guys how a professional web designer and developer creates a website, what all resources they use for things like illustrations, stock images, patterns, website logo, web templates, etc. and how they implement these resources on the website. We'll also learn what is the thought process behind the design, how to use the colors and what colors to use to make your website look professional. We'll learn how to use contrast, how to use fonts and how to design background using different simple tools. In this video, we'll learn three ways of creating a website. First, using elements. Second, using blocks and third, using free layouts. And there are thousands of free templates available for different types of websites. For example, transportation websites, podcasts and blogs, business services websites, creative and design educational websites, religious websites, financial websites, photography websites. For different kind of websites, there are free thousands of free layouts and I'll show you how you can download them for absolutely free. Also, I'll show you how you can download free and professional images for your website. So this video is basically a designing masterclass. It's a free web designing course for 2020 and beyond. So let me first show you a demo of the website that you will be creating in this video. So this is the exact same website that you will be creating in this video if you follow my step by step tutorial. Let me first refresh this website so that you guys can see the animations as well. So as you can see whenever someone visits your website they will first see that animation and this is how your website will look like. Now this thing, this image that you see over here, this animation, this is an illustration. I'll show you how you can download thousands of different illustrations like this one. For different purposes, different illustration designs are available and you can also change the color scheme of this design. Then after that if you see the background of this section you will see this green thing over here in the background. I'll show you how you can create different shapes like this one, how you can create them for free and how you can implement them and how you can use them on your website. Then after that if you see this button, behind this button you will see this simple pattern. So there are different, in fact thousands of different patterns available like this one. I'll show you how you can download them for free and how you can use them on your website. These patterns are used throughout the website, I'll show you about that. Now first let's see how this website looks like. Let's see a very quick demo of the website and after that we can start creating this website. So here at the top you will see your logo. I'll show you how you can create logos for free. What all websites and what all resources you can use to create a free and amazing professional logos. Now at the right hand side in the header you will see your menu and you can design your menu anyhow or any way you want. I've just created it a transparent menu. So as you can see you can see the background as well and you have your simple transparent menu available. And then after that this is your first section. This is your hero section. Here you have your title, some subtitle or some description, call to action button and at the right hand side you have this image. Then after that if you see your second section again very subtle animation and after that this is how your second section looks like. This is your about section. Here you have a background image or you can have a video, you can embed a YouTube video, Vimeo video. You can upload your own video if you don't want to upload or embed any YouTube video. You can upload some images over here and you can also give some taglines if you have a company tagline or something that you stand for. You can write some text over here and at the right hand side in very short you know you can type about your company or about your business. So this is your about section you will see your title looks something like this. We have a subtitle then we have a title. We have this separator and again we have this button. Now if you see throughout the website you will see these colors are used again and again this red color and when I hover over this red color you can see this dark blue type of color. So these two are my primary and secondary color. So whenever you are creating a website as a professional you should always choose a primary and a secondary color so that you can use these colors throughout the website. Also if you see the font families and the font size are used and the font family and font size used that is also consistent throughout the website. After that after this home page I'll show you some more pages like about page, contact page, services page and also the blog page. You will see the design is very much consistent throughout the website. The colors that are used, the font family, the font style, the typography everything is very much consistent throughout the website. 
and this is very important for any professional website. Now when you scroll down you have another section again you can see very subtle animation over here. This is this can be your services section or your features section. We'll see how to create these image boxes and we'll also see how to create these kind of links. Then when you scroll down you have some services or features section. Here you can have you know you can use these kind of beautiful logos, these kind of beautiful icons and you can showcase different services that you pro provide on your website or that your business provides. Then when you scroll down we have some more section again you will see some different kind of animation. This is a testimonial section and I think this really looks amazing. Now when I scroll down this is your blog section. So in this video we will also see how to create blogs so that you can see and you can learn how to do blogging through your website. Then again when you scroll down at the bottom again if you see if you notice this thing at the bottom we have one more call to action button. So the top section has a call to action and again when this uh, when this person or the customer or the visitor you know, goes to the bottom section here also they will see this call to action button. So we want our visitors to click on this button and they will be redirected to contact page and then we they can contact us and we can do some business. And obviously at the bottom you will see your footer. Now I have divided my photo into four different sections. First I have the about section. So here I have my company logo and very simple description in few lines about my company. Then few important links, recent posts or recent blogs. Then some contact information and at the bottom we have the copyright text. Then you also have this button. If you click on this button this is bring to top button. You will go back to your top section and this website is 100% mobile and tablet friendly. So you don't have to worry about that. Let me show you an example. So you can see this is how your website will look in a mobile phone. If I see we have all the different options available over here and this looks really professional. You don't have any extra space, any white space or anything like that. This looks perfect on mobile phones as well. So this is 100% mobile and tablet friendly as well. And creating this website is super simple. Let me show you an example. If you want to create this website, if you want to create this page or if you want to make some changes on this page, you just have to click on this button, edit with Elementor and you will see this button on top of every single page. Now when you see this page here, you will see your website and if I want to suppose if I want to change the title over here, I can simply click on this title and here as you can see this is the title. If I want to change this thing, I can write or I can type some different thing over here and now as you can see this thing will show in real time on your website and you can click on this update button to make some changes on the website. You can also change the color for example instead of this color you can make it some uh, other color like this red color or some green color blue color whatever color you want and if you want to do some changes for example you can bring this column over here you know not, like as you can see very simple to do these changes. Similarly if you scroll down doing these changes are really simple. You can click on any text or anything and you can change that. For example, if you want to change this icon, you can click on this icon. And instead of this icon, you can have, for example, this icon and click on insert. And now as you can see, the icon over here is now changed. So this is how easy it is to create and to do changes on this website. Now in this website, I'll also show you how to create about page, contact page, services page and even your blog page just to make your website just to make this website or any website that you will be creating 100% complete. So we don't we don't just want to create a home page we also want to create other pages. For example let me show you these pages let me open all of them in different windows or in different tabs. Now if you see your about page this is how your about page will look like. So you have all the different things about your company and again if you see the colors that we have used, the font family that we have used is very consistent. So when someone sees your home page and after that they go to some other page, the design and style is very much consistent. Then you have your contact page, this is how it looks like. We'll also see how to create services page like this one and at the end of the video we'll also see how to create a blog page and how to do blogging with this website. Alright guys so this was a very short demo of the exact same website that you will be creating in this video if you follow my step by step tutorial. Now I hope you guys like the demo website and if you want to create the exact same website make sure you watch the complete tutorial. Now before we proceed further before we start creating this website make sure you guys subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future notifications. If you find this video helpful please give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Whatsapp whatever social media platform you use. And throughout the video if you have any doubts, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can always leave them in the comments section below. 
or I guess now let's start creating this website. Or I guess now to create this website, in fact to create any website, whether it's a business website, an e-commerce website, a simple blog, a membership website, any kind of website, we need two basic things. A domain name and a hosting account. A domain name is simply the name or the URL of your website, for example, blogdood.com, google.com, nayashik.com, youtube.com, all these things are different domain names. So we also have to register a domain name on the internet so that whenever someone wants to visit your website, they can simply type in your domain name and they can land on your website. Now the second and the most important thing that we need is a hosting account. So hosting is basically a computer wherein your entire website is saved. So if you see this entire website, if you see all the different images, all the different pages, posts, everything that is present on this website, this entire website is saved in a computer and that computer is running 24 seven. So that whenever someone wants to visit your website at any given time from any particular country, they can always see your website live. So your website is always up and running. Now hosting is the most important thing about your website because everything related to your website is directly or indirectly dependent on your hosting. Your website speed, your website's performance, the user experience on your website, your ranking in Google search results, everything is totally directly dependent on your hosting. So if you selected a good and reliable hosting, your website speed will be amazing. You'll get better ranking in Google search results and your website will also be very much secure. Now there are literally thousands of different hosting providers available in the market. But unfortunately only few of them, only handful of them are really good, really you know good enough to consider them but most of them are really bad really crappy hostings but you don't have to worry about that you can simply open a new tab and type in blogtoot.com slash sg sg stands for SiteGround, and this link is also given in the video description below so you don't even have to type in this thing simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this website now this is the only thing that you have to purchase a hosting account. Obviously without this thing your website will not be you know available for the entire world. So this is very important. Rest all the other things that you will be using theme plugins everything will be absolutely free. So this is your only investment. Now before I go ahead and explain you about these different plans, first let me explain you why I'm choosing SiteGround and why I'm recommending SiteGround. So I myself just said few moments ago that you know, there are literally thousands of different hosting providers available. So out of all those, why are we choosing SiteGround? Why are we going with SiteGround? Now I'm choosing and recommending SiteGround based on my experience. I'm creating these YouTube tutorials on WordPress for more than five, six years. And in this time period, I've used and I've tried many different hosting providers. I remember the first website that I created was using HostGator. Then I moved on to some other hosting, then some other hosting. And ultimately, I'm using SiteGround. And because I create these YouTube tutorials, I get hostings for free. So in this process, I've tried, I've used many different hosting providers. Almost every, you know, almost every major hosting provider that you can think of. I've used HostGator, A2 Hosting, Bluehost, TMD Hosting, GoDaddy, SiteGround, almost every single major hosting provider and in my experience SiteGround is the best hosting provider available. It is best in terms of speed, best in terms of performance, best in terms of support and also in terms of scalability and reliability and your website when it is hosted on SiteGround it is very much secure. And this is the reason why even my personal websites are also hosted on SiteGround. My main website, my main source of income blogdood.com is hosted on SiteGround. Other websites that I own like nayashik.com, fahem.in and some other small businesses that I own, those websites are all hosted on SiteGround. So because I personally use it, I'm recommending it. Now here as you can see there are three different plans. Now right now what I'm going to do is first I'm going to explain you about some of the important features about your hosting so that you can you know decide for yourself which plan do you want to select. Now if you want to save some time and if you want a very short and simple answer, for most of you guys, I would just recommend you to just select the startup plan and click on this get plan button and just proceed further. But if you want to understand more about hosting and about all the different features available, you can watch for a few more minutes. So here, as I said earlier, there are three different plans as you can see on your screen, startup, grow big and go geek. Now, the major difference between these plans is how many websites you can create with them. 
So in startup plan, you can create one website and in grow big and go geek plan, you can create unlimited websites. Now let me explain you what does this mean. So suppose if you select startup plan, you can create one website, which means that you can create this entire website. You won't have any problem or any, any limitation. You can have unlimited pages. You can have unlimited posts. You can have a very huge website. You won't have any problem at all. But the limitation over here, uh, the only thing that you can do is you can create only one website. And in future, if you want to create more than one website, if you want to create your second website, you will have to upgrade your plan to grow big or go geek plan. Whereas if you select grow big plan, you can create unlimited websites, which means that today you're creating this amazing business website. Tomorrow, if you want to create an e-commerce website, a blog, any kind of website, you don't have to purchase a new hosting plan. You don't have to upgrade your plan. You can host or you can create unlimited websites in one single plan. So in simple words, you just purchase this hosting plan once and for all your future websites, you can host all of them in one single plan. Now the second thing or the second feature over here is how much web space do you get. So here as you can see in startup you're getting 10, in grow geek you're getting 20 and in go geek you're getting 40 GBs of web space. Now let me first explain you how much web space do you actually need. So if you see this entire website that I've created including all the different media files, all the different images, videos, pages, posts, including everything. So this entire website, the size of this website is not more than 100 MBs. So technically speaking, if you select Grobic plan, you can create more than 100 websites like this one. Now most importantly over here, these guys are using, these guys at SiteGround are using SSD storage to store and to host your website. Most of the hosting providers, they use the HDD plan or HDD storage to host your website. And if your website is hosted on HDD server, your website will be very slow, very laggy. But here, because these guys are using SSD storage, your website speed will be amazing. And not only that, they are also using Google Cloud Platform. If you scroll down at the bottom, you will see this feature, this section over here, Web Hosting Essentials. And if you see this option, Ultra Fast Sites, if you click on Find Out More, you can see that these guys at SiteGround are using Google Cloud Platform or Google Cloud Technology with SSD storage that will make your website really, really fast. So this is very important. Now let me close this thing. Then after that, if you see some more features, the third option over here is just to give you an idea and just to make you or just to help you make a decision as to which plan should you select. For example, startup is better for those websites that are getting around 10,000 monthly visitors. Grow big is best suited for those websites that are getting around 25,000 monthly visitors and go geek is best suited for those websites that generate around 100,000 unique monthly visitors. Now many people get confused over here. They think for example, if they selected grow big plan, they think that if they cannot have more than 25,000 monthly visitors and if they have 20 more than 25,000 monthly visitors, they will have to upgrade their plan to go geek plan. But that is not the case. Even if you select a grow big plan and even if your website is getting more than 50, 60 or even 70,000 monthly visitors, grow big plan can easily handle your website. You don't have to worry about that. This is just to give you an idea about which plan should you select. Then after that, you get unlimited traffic or unlimited bandwidth. If you get free SSL certificate to make your website more secure, you get daily backup. So even if something happens to your website, you have your daily backup, you can easily restore your website. And we have some more features over here for security as well. If you, if you again scroll down at the bottom and if you again come back to this section, top notch security, click on find out more. You can see that these guys are using artificial intelligence, AI anti-bot system to protect your website because WordPress websites gets hacked a lot. But if your website is hosted on SiteGround, you don't have to worry about that. And there are many more features available. You can read about them over here. If you scroll down or if you hover over these, you can read about them. But I'm not you know, going to waste a lot of time over here. So I hope now you have a better idea about different plans. So as I said you in the beginning, for most of you guys, I would just recommend you to start with this startup plan. You can create one website and later on in future after five, six months or whenever you want to create your next website, you can anytime upgrade to grow big plan. So whatever plan you want to start with, just select that plan and click on this get plan button. After you click on that get plan button, you will be redirected to this page. And here you have to register a new domain name. So whatever domain name you want to register, 
simply type in that domain name over here for example if i want to register nayashik.com i can type in that domain name and i can select the domain name extension now there are many domain name extensions available like .com .net .org there are some country specific domain name extensions available as well for example .in for india .nz for new zealand .uk for obviously uk and there are some generic domain name extensions available as well for example .online .blog .business .estate .expert .graphics so whatever domain name extension you want you can simply select that so simply type in the domain name, select the extension and click on proceed. Now if you've already registered your domain name somewhere else, you can select this option. I already have a domain name. So many people what they do is they all they register domain names on some other websites like GoDaddy, Namecheap, Google Domains, those kind of website. So if you have already registered or if you already own a domain name outside SiteGround, you can select the second option. I already have a domain name. Now type in the domain name that you have registered on GoDaddy ID or any other third website. And after that, you can click on proceed. Now you'll see your step three and here, first of all, you will see your account information. Now this thing is very important. Whatever you enter under account information, whatever email address and password you enter under your account information, this will become your login credentials. So whenever in future, if you want to log into your SiteGround account, you will have to enter this email address and password that you will be entering under account information. So whatever you enter under account information, whatever email address and password you enter over here, make sure you remember that thing. If you want, you can write it down somewhere. Then when you scroll down, you have your client information, which is just your basic information, your country name, first name, last name, your address, phone number, your basic information. You can leave these two things, obviously company name and tax ID, not really important, not compulsory. Then when you scroll down, you have to enter your card information, your credit card, debit card, ATM card, whatever you will be using to make payment. Now just enter your card number, card expiry date, CVV number, which is three digit number, which is given at the back of your card and obviously your card holder name. Now one thing to note over here is that only three types of cards are accepted over here. Visa, MasterCard and American Express. So make sure you have any one of these. Now Visa and MasterCard are very common throughout the world. So most of you guys must have this. But if you don't have this, for example, if you're from India, most of you people in India have the Rupee card because that is a state sponsored card. So whenever you open a new account in India, you get a Rupee card. But because that is a domestic card, you cannot make the payment over here. So make sure you have Visa or a MasterCard. Then when you scroll down, you will see your purchase information. Now remember one thing about purchase information, don't change anything over here. Just check everything. So under plan, we have selected startup plan. If you have selected grow big plan or some other plan, you will see that plan name over here. Under data center location, it will be automatically selected for you based on your location. Now because I'm in India, which is in Asia for me, Asia data center location is selected. And under period, make sure 12 months is selected. Make sure you don't change this thing. If you change this thing, you will have to pay extra money. So make sure you don't change this thing because for 12 months, you're getting the best deal. Now make sure you don't tick mark this thing because if you do, you will have to pay some extra money. So we don't want this SG site scanner. Now just go ahead at the bottom and tick mark these two things. Now before you proceed further, if you see the total amount that you have to pay is just $84. And this is really amazing seeing and considering the fact that SiteGround is the number one hosting provider right now and the quality of services that they provide, you're getting one year of complete hosting for just $84. And if you had selected grow big plan, let me see how much that cost. That would co cost you only $120 for one complete year. And this is really amazing. So make sure you again, go ahead at the top, check in what all information that you have entered. If everything is correct, you can go ahead at the bottom and click on pay now and make the payment. Now, once you make the payment, you can simply open a new tab and type in my.siteground.com and you will be redirected to this page. And here you have to enter the email address and password that you have selected in your previous in step. So in your previous step under account information, whatever email address and password you have selected, type in the same email address and password over here and click on login. Once you log in, you will see this page and here you have to click on websites. Now here you will see all the websites that you have connected with this plan. So if you remember, we had registered this domain name, nayashik.com. So you will always see your domain name over here and below your domain name, you will see this button site tools. Click on this button. 
Now here there can be two scenarios. First scenario can be that you have just registered a new domain name. So that is really great because you don't have to do any extra steps. Now the second scenario can be that you have already registered your domain name outside SiteGround on some website like GoDaddy Namecheap. So if you fall under second scenario, you first have to link your third party domain name with SiteGround. So let me show you how you can do that very simple. Simply go to website wherein you have registered your domain name, log into your account. And once you log into your account, you will see all the different domain names that you have registered with this account. So suppose in this example, suppose if I want to use this domain name, tritongifts.com with SiteGround, I can select this domain name and besides every single domain, you will see your button. You will see this button, DNS button. Click on that button. DNS is your domain name servers and you will see your name servers over here. Click on change and delete these default name servers. So delete your name server number one and two come back to your website, scroll down, you will see custom name server is given for you. So copy your name server number one, paste it under line one and copy your name server number two, just like this. And obviously paste it under line two and click on save. Now, once you click on save, it can take up to 24 hours to link your domain name with SiteGround. So by that time, you don't have to sit idle. We can do a few more things related to our website. So by that time we can do one thing, we can install SSL certificate on our domain. So to do that, you will see this option over here, security at the left hand side. Under security, you will see SSL manager. Click on that. Now here you have to select your domain name from this list. So click on this thing and just select the domain name on which you want to install SSL. So I'm selecting this domain. And after that under select SSL, select let's encrypt and click on get. I cannot do that because SSL certificate is already installed and activated on this domain. So if you want to see this thing, you can go ahead and see this list in the bottom. So basically if you see your domain name here at the bottom and here as you can see this domain name that I have selected over here, this domain name is already present in this list and besides this domain name, it says active. So if you see your domain name at the bottom and besides your domain name, if it says active, it simply means that SSL is already installed and activated on your domain name. So you don't have to do this step or if it is not installed, select your domain name, select let's encrypt and click on get. Within two minutes, this SSL certificate will be installed on your domain. And once that is done, you can install WordPress on that domain. So to do that, click on WordPress from the left hand side and select install and manage. Again, just like SSL certificate, WordPress is also most of the times automatically installed on your domain name. So first check that thing. Go ahead at the bottom. If you see your domain name in this list, it simply means that WordPress is already installed on your domain name. So you can do one thing besides your domain name, you will see this button, log into admin panel, simply click on that button and you will be redirected to your WordPress dashboard. If you don't see your domain name over here, don't worry, simply click on WordPress and here you can select the domain name from this list. So I'm selecting this domain. Now under installation part, don't do anything, just leave it as it is. Same for language, don't do anything, don't change anything over here, just leave it as it is. And if you see this thing tick mark for you, install WordPress starter, untick this thing because this is a plugin that is not really important. So you can untick this thing. Now you have to choose some username for your website. And after that, you also have to choose some password for your website. And again, enter your personal email address over here. So whatever your email address is, enter your personal email address over here. Now basically this username and password is also very important because this is your login username and password for your WordPress dashboard. So this thing also should be remembered. Now once you do this thing, you can simply click on this install button. And now as you can see, WordPress has started installing on your domain name. This is a very short process, hardly it will take 10 to 20 seconds. So let's wait. I guess now as you can see WordPress is successfully installed on this domain and now if you see this domain name is also present at the bottom and besides this domain name you will see this button log into admin panel. Click on this button and you will see a new tab will be automatically opened and here you will see your dashboard. So this page that you see on your screen right now, this is your dashboard and this is a very important page because you will be controlling your entire website from this page. Whether you want to change the appearance style of your website, whether you want to create pages, whether you want to create posts, whether you want to control, control users, manage comments, everything will be done from here. Basically, you will be controlling your entire website from this page. So make sure you remember this page and whenever you want to come to this page or whenever you want to land on this page, 
you can simply enter your website name and after that put a forward slash wp hyphen admin you will land on this page now whenever you install wordpress on a new domain there are a few basic things that we have to understand and there are a few basic settings that we have to do so let's first see them now first of all at the left hand side you will see different options first option is your dashboard option and this is your dashboard then after that you have your post option under post you will see you know a hello world post is already created for you this is a demo post if you want you can simply delete it from here so basically from here you can create different posts different blogs and you can also manage them later on you can come and you can do some changes on those posts then you have the media option so whatever images media file videos whatever you have uploaded on your website you will see everything over here and you can manage them from here then you have your pages option obviously from where you can create and manage different pages then you have your comments option so whenever there is a comment posted on your website or any post on your website you will see those comments over here and you can manage those comments from here so if you want to delete them if you want to approve unapprove them you can you know, do everything from here then you have your appearance option which is a very important option here you will see there are few themes already installed and one theme is already activated so in this case 2020 theme is already activated now what is the theme let me explain you this thing if you open your website in a new tab this is how your website will look like now the appearance of your website is because of this theme 2020 theme so if you do one thing without doing anything else if you just activate some other theme so in this example let's activate this 2017 theme if i select this theme and click on activate and if i again come back to my website and refresh it now as you can see my website design is completely changed so this is what basically a theme does a theme will completely change the appearance and style of your website now you must only have one theme installed and activated always so you can delete these extra themes from here so very easy just click on them and at the bottom right you will see that delete button now later on in this video we'll be using some other theme a free theme and we'll see how we can design this beautiful website using that theme now again from the left hand side you will see plugins click on that now over here you will see one plugin is already installed and activated for you sg optimizer and this is a very very important plugin because this plugin will furthermore improve the performance and speed of your website as you can see it it will optimize the performance of your website but this plugin is available only for site ground users as you can see over here so if you're using some other hosting you might not see this plugin over here now what is a plugin a plugin is an add-on or a software kind of thing that will add some extra features and functionalities to your wordpress website later on in this video you will see we'll be using some plugins for different purposes for example if you see this thing if i open my contact page here you will see one contact form is created over here so if you want to create a contact form by default you cannot create that but you can install a free plugin and that plugin will add the contact form feature on your website and after that you can create a contact form like this so that is basically what a plugin does now from the left hand side you will see settings which is very important click on that now you can give your website some title you can basically under title you can just say enter your business name or your website name or if it's a personal website you can enter your own name then if you have some tagline for your business for your website you can enter that over here or under tagline you can just describe your website in few words then if you see this thing wordpress address and site address and if you see http over here make it https because right now if you see if you click on this thing it says your website is not 100 percent secure if you remember we had already installed ssl certificate but still it says not secure so to make this thing secure make it https both at top and bottom okay make sure you do it something like this now scroll down now here you will see your admin email address make sure your personal email address is present over here and under membership you can just leave them uh, we don't want this thing enabled now time zone you can set your time zone so because i'm from india i can set time zone for kolkata and i can just go ahead and click on save changes now when you click on save changes you will be logged out and you have to use or you have to enter your username and password and click on login to login back to your website and now as you can see when you click on this thing it says your connection is 100 percent secure now under settings you will see permalinks click on this and make sure over oh, your post name is selected if you see some other permalink structure selected like plain or date day and name just deselect this thing click on post name make sure post name is selected go ahead at the bottom and click on save changes very important setting now again let's come back to dashboard 
Now, whenever you come back to your dashboard, you will see these widgets on your dashboard. Now, these are not really important. So if you want, you can click on screen options and you can untick all these things from here just to make your, you know, just to keep your dashboard very clean. All right, guys. So with this, all the basic settings related to your website is now 100% completed. I guess now let's do one thing. Let's install a new theme because right now if you see your website design looks something like this and this is because of this boring 2017 theme. So let's change the theme. Let's install another free theme that will convert this boring website into something amazing and beautiful like this one. So to do this thing again, come back to your dashboard. Now from the left hand side, click on appearance. Now to install a new theme, click on add new button, which is given over here at the top. And under search plugins or search theme, whatever theme you're searching for, just enter that name. So the theme that we'll be using in this video is called Ocean WP. So under search theme, just search for Ocean WP. You will search, uh, you will see this theme over here. You can see the image and the name over here at the bottom says Ocean WP. Install this theme. And once this theme is successfully installed, you'll get this activate button. Simply activate this theme. Once this theme is activated, in fact, whenever you install and activate any theme or plugin, these guys will also recommend you to, you know, some install some more plugins, some more themes. So obviously we don't want that. We will be using some themes, some plugins, but not these ones. So just click on dismiss this notice. Now, once you have your Ocean WP theme, we can now get rid of this 2017 theme. So we can simply click on this at the bottom right corner. You'll see the delete button and simply delete this theme. Now let's also install few more plugins and all these are free plugins. And in fact, let me do one thing. Let me again come back to your website. Let's refresh it. Now as you can see, because we have installed and activated some other theme, the design looks so much better, clean, and now we can work with this website. So again, come back to your website. Now click on plugins and let's install few free plugins. And similar to install a new plugin, simply click on this add new button. And under search plugins, again, you have to search for Ocean WP. So Ocean WP is the name of the theme and the people who have created the, uh, that theme, they have also created few very useful free plugins. So we can use these plugins. The most important one is this one, Ocean Extra. So simply click on this install now button. Now, what does this plugin do? Let me explain you this thing. If you right now create a new page, if I click on add new page, I, I can just create a page and I don't have any options at the bottom. Like I cannot change the layout, the design of the page. Let me show you. I If I just create a new page, demo page, if I publish this page, if I see this page in a new tab, as you can see, this is the you know, default layout of the page. Here at the left hand side is the content section. Right hand side, we have the sidebar. At top, we have this thing, you know, the title section. Now, suppose if I don't want this sidebar, if I want complete section, full width section for my content, and if I also don't want this title section, how can I do these changes? So to do these changes, we are installing this plugin, Ocean Extra plugin. If I activate this plugin right now, and if I again come back to my website, click on pages, we had just created this page demo page. If I edit this thing, now, as you can see at the bottom, we get so many different options. We can have a separate logo or unique logo for every single page. We can have different menus as well for every single page. So for home page, whenever someone goes to home page, they will see different menu. Whenever someone goes to you know, about page, they will see a different menu and you can also design the menu. So this is really amazing. These features that you see over here at the bottom, these are generally available in the premium plugins, in the premium theme. So you have to purchase a premium theme to get these features. But with this theme, you're getting all these features, some really amazing features for absolutely free. And that is the reason why we're using this Ocean WP theme. Now again, come back to plugins and click on add new. Now under search plugins, again, search for Ocean WP. Now scroll down and install this one, Ocean Social Sharing. If you install this thing, now let me explain you what will this plugin do. So if you see my demo website, if you open any single post, if I open this blog post over here, for every single blog post at the bottom, you will see this option, social sharing option. So a person or a visitor can share this post on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media platform they use. So this is what this plugin will do. Then after that, we have Ocean sticky header. So if you install this plugin, if you see we have this header at top, we have this logo and at the right hand side, we have this menu. Now, when I scroll down, this header stays with me. It is fixed at the top. 
So this is what this plugin will do, Ocean WP Sticky Header. Now you don't need to activate uh, all of these things right now because if you activate it, you will be redirected to dashboard page. Then again, you have to come back to plugins. Again, you have to search for plugins. So it will take a lot of time. What we'll do is we'll install all the plugins for now. And after that, we can activate all the plugins at once. So this will save a lot of time. Now let's install a plugin to create contact form. So under search plugins, search for contact. Now there are thousands of different plugins available to create different contact forms, registration forms. The one which we'll be using in this video is this one, Contact Form 7. So simply install this plugin. Now once you install this plugin, there is one very important, in fact the most important plugin that we need is Elementor. Elementor is a page builder that will help you to design your website to create all the different pages. So everything, all the different pages that you see on this website, all these is created using Elementor. So to install Elementor, you have to open a new tab type in blogdo.com slash Elementor. Now this link is also given in the video description below so you don't even have to type in this thing. Simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page. Now if you see these premium packages, don't worry, this is absolutely free plugin but this is also available in premium versions. So if you want to use the premium version on one website, you can pay this small price and for this small price, you're getting so many more features. Like you're getting 90 plus premium widgets, premium, you know, uh, widgets that I'll explain you what these widgets are very soon. Then after that, you get 300 plus premium website templates. So pre-made websites, uh, kind of, you know, 300 plus advanced pre-made website designs. Then you have theme builder, WooCommerce builder, Popper builder, all these features are available. So if you want you know if you have some extra budget obviously i would recommend you to go with the premium version but in this video because i have said that i'll be using only free things we'll be using the free version so to install or to download the free version simply click on this button at the top right corner get started button now whenever you click on this button first they will ask you to sign up on elementor.com so you just have to enter your email address and choose a password and that is it then after that you'll see this page they will ask you whether you already have a WordPress website. So yes, we do. So select the second option and click on continue. Now over here you have to enter your website URL. So I will simply copy this website link, paste it over here and click on check for WordPress. Once they check that WordPress is installed on your website, they will give you this option. Simply click on click to install button and a new tab will be open for you. And as you can see Elementor page builder and the bottom right corner, you see this install now button. Simply click on this button and this plugin will be installed for free. Now as you can see this plugin is successfully installed. You don't need to activate this thing. We can activate all the plugins at once. Again click on plugins and search for let's search for some more plugins. Click on add new. Now this time let's search for one plugin very important plugin elements kit. So search for just type in elements kit. This is the plugin that we need elements kit elemental add-ons by WP met. So click on this install button. We also need this plugin Envato Elements. So if you see this plugin over here, click on this install button. I'll explain you about these plugins later on in this video. Then after that, we need few more add-ons plugins. So for that, you have to search for this option, Live Mesh. And you need to install this plugin Live Mesh add-ons for Elementor Page Builder. Click on this install now button. Now once you install all these plugins, now you can do one thing. You can click on this plugins from the left hand side. And you will see all the plugins are available over here. Everything is installed, but none of them are activated. So what we can do is instead of activating every one of these one by one, we can simply tick mark over here. This will select everything. And under bulk action, we can select activate and click on apply. So this will activate all the plugins at once and this will save you a lot of time. Now over here at top, you will get different notices. You can simply dismiss all these notices. Now come back to your dashboard. I guess now let's start creating the home page, which is the most important thing. Let's see how we can design this website, how we can, you know, where and from where we can download these illustrations and how we can customize them, how we can use these patterns and how, where can we download these things from. So let's see how this home page is created and how to use these different resources. So to create any page, whether it's home page or any page, you just have to click on pages. Now we had created this demo page for demo purposes, so I can delete this for now. And if you see this sample page over here, you can also delete this page. Now let's click on add new page to add our home page. So first of all, you have to give some title to this page. So we'll just 
give it a title of home or we'll just name it home. Now if I just publish this page and if I open this page in a new tab, you will see it will look something like this which I have already explained you the default style of the page. Here at the left hand side we have the content, here at the right hand side we have the sidebar. Now first of all I don't want this sidebar, I want complete section, I want to use the 100% full width. Because in the demo website also we don't have any sidebar in the home page. So to get rid of this sidebar you can come back to this page, scroll down and under content layout you can select this option 100% full width. And again you can update this page. So if you again come back to this page and refresh it you will see that sidebar is now gone. Similarly, we don't want this title section. So again, we can come back to this page, click on title and we can simply disable this entire section. Again, update this page, come back, refresh and that section is also gone. So we just have the header, we have this black footer, in between everything is empty. Now we can design this page however we want. Now before proceeding further, there is one more thing left. If you see your URL bar, it says your website name slash home. And if I click on this option, my WordPress, I'm redirected to some other page, which simply means that this page that we have just created, we have named it home, but this is just a regular page. So just by naming your page home page, it doesn't become your home page. We have to set this page as our official home page. So to do that thing, come back to your dashboard and here from the left hand side, hover over settings and click on reading. Now you'll see this option, your home page display. So right now your home page displays your latest post. We want to display a static page as a home page. So we can select the second option, a static page and under home page select the page that you have just created. Click on save changes. Now if I again come back to this page and you can see this URL thing. If I refresh this page, now as you can see that slash home is gone and we are still on the same page. And if I click on my WordPress, I'm still on the same page which simply means that this page is now officially our home page. Now we can start designing this page. So to design this page, you have to come back to pages and you have your home page over here, click on edit. And as I said you earlier, to design this website or to design this page, we'll be using Elementor. So you'll see this button over here at top, edit with Elementor. Click on this button. All right, so now first what I wanna do is, I want to explain you guys what is this Elementor page builder, how does this thing work, what all these things are present at the left hand side, what is this. So I want to explain the page that you see or the content that you see on your screen. So Elementor is a page builder which obviously by the name itself you can you know figure out. This is used to create different pages and these things at the left hand side these are widgets or Elementor calls them elements. So you can use these elements to create all the pages you want. For example all these pages the home page, blog page, about page, whatever page you see it is created using all these elements that you see at the left hand side. Now if you remember we had installed few extra plugins like Elements Kit, Live Mesh add-ons. So if you scroll down you will see here Elements Kit. So with the when you install that Elements Kit you will get some extra add-ons that you can use to furthermore design your website. Similarly if you scroll down again you will see Live Mesh add-ons somewhere. Here it is Live Mesh add-ons. So this is what those plugins do. They will add some extra add-ons for you. And if you see any add-on logged like this one, it simply means that this is available only for Elementor Premium version, Pro version. So if you want to use slide, you cannot use that. But if you want to see how uh, how this thing works or you know, what this add-on will do or th what this element will do, you can click on this and click on see this in action and they, you will be redirected to Elementor website and you can see how this thing will work and what you can do with this thing. So you can watch this video and you can see these options. You can create different slides like this one, okay? So again, I'm saying if you want to use these things, you have to get the Elementor premium version. Now let's see the right hand side. So this is the main content area. So the the way we will be creating this website basically are the three basically there are three ways of creating your page. First using elements, second using blocks, and third using you know premium layouts or free layouts, uh, you know free pre-made layouts. So first of all, whenever you want to create a new section, because every page is divided into different sections. If you see this is one section, then this about page or this about section, then there is this is the third section. This is services thing is your first section. So every page is divided into different sections. So if you want to create your first section, you simply click on this button, this red button, plus button, and you have to select how many columns you want in this section. So here, for example, here as you can see, we have left column, then we have right this right column. So if you want two columns, you can select this two column, 
and you have this thing over here, left column and right column. Now, whenever you add anything like this, now as you can see at the left hand side, settings are now changed and you see a different screen over here. Now, if you again want to go back to elements, you can click on this icon, this nine dots icon, you can click on this and again, you will be redirected to elements thing. Now, if you want to use, for example, button over here, you can just search for button element. These, this is the simple button element. This is the button element by eKit and you have some more options. Let's use the simple button element. I can simply drag and drop this thing over here and this is how it will look like. Now you can change the text like as you can see. Now the button title is button. You can link this thing with anything. So basically whenever you add any element on your page, you will see that left hand side settings are now changed. Right now it says edit element. Whenever you click on any element, you will get settings related to that element. And every single element will have three sections. Content, which is this section. Style, obviously this section will be used to style this element, whatever the element is. You can change the color, the size, the radius, all this styling thing. Then after that third section will be advanced section, which you can use to add margin, padding, Z index, some, you know, simple animations, all these things can be used for here. Again, if you come back, if you want to come back to elements, you'll click on this nine dots icon. And suppose if you want to use something else over here at the right hand side, maybe if you want to use, let's see this progress bar. So you can simply drag and drop this progress bar over here. And now as you can see at the left hand side, it says edit progress bar. The settings are now changed. Now you can increase this thing. You can change the style and everything. So this is how it works. Now this is the first style. This is using elements. Okay. This is basically creating your website from scratch. Then the second style. In fact, let's see the second and third style later on. First, our homepage will be creating our homepage completely from scratch so that you guys understand the basics of Elementor and you understand how to use these elements and how you can create a beautiful website from scratch. And after that, I'll explain you how to use, you know, blocks. And after that, we'll see how to use different layouts. So let's do one thing. Let's cut this thing and let's create our first section. So here, as you can see in the first section, we have this left column and right column. So first we'll click on this plus button to add a new section and we'll add two columns over here. So I have added two columns. Now the first thing that I want to do is if you see properly, if you see carefully over here, the left column is pretty small. The width of this left column is smaller and the width of this right column is larger or bigger. So what I want to do is I want to change the column width for first one. By default, it is 50% plus 50%. I want to change this thing. I want to make it 40% and 60%. So you can bring your mouse cursor and you can do it like this. As you can see, you can also see the percentage. Or if you want, you can do this thing. You can do it like this. You can click on this option. If you follow my mouse cursor, you can click on edit column and under column width, you can type in 40% and the right column will automatically become 60%. Now we can start creating this website. Now, first thing that we have over here is this simple heading. So I can copy this thing, come over here. Again, if I want to go back to elements, I can click on this nine dots icon and I will simply drag and drop this heading element over here. This is the default style. First thing that we need to do is change the title. So I'll enter this title over here. Now, if you see, if you notice one thing, uh, at the right hand side, in the left hand side and the title, I have typed this thing in two lines. But at the right hand side, it says or it shows only in one line. So basically this is using HTML elements. So to add a new line, what I can do is after things or wherever you want to add that line break, you can type it something like this under this arrow brackets. You can type in BR, which stands for break. Now, as you can see after this thing, we have another line. So you can use this thing to add a line. Let me show you one more example. If I just copy this BR and if I paste it anywhere in between, if I paste it be before this ideas, now as you can see ideas, this word ideas is now, you know, bring on the next line. So this is how this thing works. I'll cut this thing. Now let's see how we can design this thing. So let's see how we can make it something like this one. So to design this thing, to style this thing, we'll go to second option style. Let's search a color. So for this color, if uh, I've already explained you in the introduction that to create a professional website, you must choose a primary and a secondary color. And you should always use those two colors throughout your website so that your website looks professional. So as you can see this dark blue color and this red color, these two are our primary and uh, secondary color. 
So if you scroll down, you will always see these colors used throughout your website. Even if you use or if you even if you see some other page like your about page or contact page, you will see these colors used everywhere. So you have to first choose a primary and a secondary color. So I want to use this color. So if you want to use the same color, you can select this blue color. You can select any shade like this thing. You can make it lighter, darker like this. Or what you can do is whenever you go to some website and if you like the color and if you don't know the color code, you can simply do one thing. You can install a free Google Chrome extension, which is called Colorzilla. So you can open a new tab and search for Colorzilla Google Chrome extension. When you search for Colorzilla Chrome extension on Google, you will see the first link. Click on that link. And here, as you can see, this is the free Chrome extension that we that we want to use. Colorzilla and here right now for me, it says remove from Chrome because I've already added this extension to my Chrome browser. For you, it should say add to Chrome. Once you click on that button and once you add that, once you add this extension to your browser, you will see this color picker over here. If you follow my cursor again, simply click on that color picker and bring your mouse cursor to wherever or whatever color you want to copy. So suppose if I want to copy this exact color code, I can bring my mouse cursor over here. Now when you simply click on that thing, the color code is automatically copied. Now wherever you want to paste it, simply go and right click paste. And now as you can see, this color code is pasted. Now because we'll be using this color again and again in our website, we don't have to follow the same process again and again. We don't have to again and again go and click on Colorzilla, search for the color. We can simply paste in the code and now we can add this color in our color palette. So I can copy the, I can paste in this code and I can click on this uh, button, this uh, plus button which says add picked color. And now as you can see, this color is now added in my color palette. And now I can do one thing. I can get rid of these preset colors. So I can you know, drag and drop these colors like this. I can simply delete them like this. All right. I don't want to delete this black color and white color. This is our first color that we have used. Now let's see how we can change the typography, which is the font family and all those things settings related to the text, this font. So to do this thing, you have to click on this pencil button. Now there are almost every single font available that you can think for or you can think of. Or if you want to, if you don't know how this font will look like on your website, you can go to this website fonts.google.com. And over here you can search and you can see there are so many different fonts available. Whatever font you like, you can, you know, just copy that font name. For example, here as you can see one font name, if you like this font. The font name is given over here, which is Railway. This is Roboto. This is Oswald. Then this is Red Rose and Open Sans, you know, Noto Sans, Roboto, Poppins. These are some really cool font families. And this is the one that we'll be using throughout the website, Poppins. So just like you set your primary and your secondary color, you also have to choose a font family or two or three different font families. And you should be using and you should be, you know, using that font family throughout your website. Okay, that will make your website more professional. So I want to use this Poppins throughout my website. So I can come over here, click on typography under font family. I can search for Poppins. And now as you can see, you get this option. If I click on this, the style of this font is now changed. Now I can increase or decrease the size as well. If I want to make it bigger, I can do it like this. I'll make it 50 so that, you know, it, you know, it becomes or it comes in two lines. Now I want to do one more thing. If you want to make it, you know, darker, if you want to make it lighter or bolder, if you want to select 100, now as you can see, very light font. If you want to select, if you, you can select 900 and this will become very bold. I want to keep it very simple. I I'll select this thing, 600. Then you can do some more things. You can text transfer this thing. You can make everything uppercase like this one. You can make everything lowercase or you can capitalize this thing. So every first letter or will be capitalized. Every first letter of the word will be capitalized. Then you can also change some style. You can make it italic. You can do uh, things like this. You can have underline, overline, line through. You can have these designs as well. And now if you see, we don't have enough line space over here. Here, if you see the demo website, between this first line and second line, we have a nice amount of space in between. Here, we don't have that thing. So if you want, you can add some line height like this, as you can see. I don't want to make it like this. I, I just want to set this thing to something like this, probably 1.3 or 1.4. Okay, whatever you think is looking good. 
just set it to that thing. Now let's do one thing. You can also add text, shadow and all, but we, we, are, we are not going to use this thing for now. Later on for some other elements, we'll see how to use these things. Okay, these settings. Then after that, we have some more text. Now this was heading. Okay, so for heading, we use heading and this is simple text. So whenever you want to add simple text, again, first come back to elements. You should be using this element, text editor element. So drag and drop this thing over here. You will get some default thing over here. I'll cut this thing, paste in my text or type in whatever text I want over here. Now to design this thing, we'll go to style. We can change the color. For this, we have some different color. Basically, this is some lighter version or some lighter shade of this primary color. So again, you can use this color picker to see what is the color code. If you bring your mouse cursor to this thing, you will see the exact color code. Now, once you get that color code, simply click on that and this color will be automatically copied. Now come over here, click on this text color, paste in this color and now as you can see, this color is now changed. Again, because I'll be using this color again and again throughout my website, I can simply click on this plus button and this color will also be added in my color palette. Now let's change the typography. So for this, I want to make it poppins again. There are some more font families. If you don't want to use poppins, let me tell you about few of my favorite font families. Uh, poppins, then there is Montserrat, there is Lato, there is Railway, there is Roboto, then there is uh, Nato. There, there are so many different font families. Again, I would recommend you to go to fonts.google.com and you can see for all these things. If you want to type a sentence and if you want to see how that will look on uh, anything like this, you can type uh, type a sentence. For example, let me copy this thing, paste it over here. And now as you can see, it will uh, show you how this sentence will look for different font families. So you can use this thing if you want. Now let me again come back over here, go to style and for this I want to use poppins. So I can simply select poppins from here and I can change this height to or size to 18 pixels and line height I think is looking good. If you want, you can change that thing as well. And I think let's make it a little bit lighter. So select 300 weight and this I think looks perfect. Now after that, let's use this option. Let's use, uh, let's see how we can create this button. So to create this button again, we'll come back to elements and we'll drag and drop this button element at the bottom. Now the text over here, it says, as you can see, get started now. So I'll type the same thing, get started now. And after that, uh, we want this icon. If you first, first of all, you can link this thing to some page. So later on, when you create your contact page, if you come to link and if you just search for contact, you will see that contact page option at the bottom and you can click on this. For example, right now we have created home page. If I type home, I can get this option home. If I click on this, it will automatically get the home page URL and it will link this page. It will link this button with this page. So later on in this video, when you create your contact page, you should remember to link this button with your contact page. Now let's add an icon for this thing. So let's add this right arrow icon. So click on this icon and let's search for right arrow. There are so many different icons available. Suppose we want to use this one. We can simply select this icon and click on insert. Right now this icon is positioned before this text. I want this icon after the text. So I can select after position. I can position after. You can also add some space between this thing if you want. I don't want to do this thing. I want to keep it default. Now let's style this thing. First of all, again, it will be typography. So for font family, again, I want to set this thing to poppins. And now we can change the size as well. So for this, I want to set this to 16 pixels and rest everything looks fine. Now I want to do one more thing. If you see this button, this is a circular button. Okay, rounded button. As you can see, the corners are rounded. So if you want to make it something like this, you will see this option, border radius, type in 50. And now as you can see, the corners over here also are now rounded. Now let's change the color. So the text color over here is this white color and the background color is this red color. So let me get this red color from here. Use this color picker. Bring your mouse cursor over here. Now click on that thing and that color will be copied. Once, this, once it is copied, you can come over here again under background color, paste in this color code. And now again, we can add this color in our color palette. And this color is now added. Now, if I want, I can do one thing. If you want, you can add some custom padding from all the sides. So to do that thing, if I first of all, I'll make padding zero. And now as you can see, this is how your button looks like. There's no padding available, which means that there is no space between this thing. 
if I add, if you want, you can add some custom padding. So in this case, I want to add padding of 15 and 35. So 15 from top and bottom and 35 from left and right. Okay, as you can see, if I add 325 from left, this is how it will look like. I want to make it 35. So 15 from top bottom, 35 left and right. And we also want to do one thing when I hover over this button, the background color should change. So if you want to achieve this design, you can click on this hover effect and you can set some other background color. So in this case, let's select this color. Now when I hover over this color, or when I hover over this button, you can see the background color changes. So this is how this thing works. Now click on update. Now as you can see, we have to use this pattern. So now we have to see how to use this pattern and how to bring it over here just be just behind this button. Now before we add this button, before we add this pattern behind the button, we have to first create or we have to download this pattern from somewhere. So there are many different websites from where you can download this pattern or you can just download it from Google if you want. You can go to google.com and you can search for pattern for websites or patterns for website, go to images and you can see there are so many patterns available. If you want, you can simply download these images or you can, if you want, so for example, dotted pattern like this one, you can come over here and search for dotted patterns for website. And now as you can see, you know, we have this dotted pattern. You can download this image if you want and you can use it on your website. Or you can do one thing, you can go to a website and simply type in this website name toptill.com slash designers slash subtle patterns and you will get this, you will be redirected to this page. And now as you can see, there are hundreds of thousands of patterns available. And if you want to see how this pattern will look like, you can simply click on that pattern and you will get that design, you know, as you can see in the background, whatever pattern you want to use. And here also you can search for something. For example, if I want dotted pattern, I can go, you'll, you'll see this search at the top. You can search for dot. And if you search this thing, let's press enter. And now as you can see dotted pattern, different colors. This is, this is very much similar to what we have used on our demo website. As you can see this dotted one, there are some more, so many different options. If I click on this, you know, very light dot. Okay. This is, I think this is the exactly the same one that we have used over here on our demo website. So whatever you want to use, you can simply download that pattern from here. It will be a zip file. If you open that zip file, okay, you will see. Okay, this is the image. You can extract this image somewhere. So I can click on extract to file and wherever you want to extract this thing, you can do that. I will extract this on my desktop. Click on copy. It is already present. So I can click on yes to replace this file. All right. So this is the pattern that we have just downloaded. If I open this image, okay, as you can see, this is how it looks like. Or you can do one thing. You can go to freepick.com and these are images on freepick. You can get a vector file. Here also, if you search for uh, dots or pattern, something like this, you will get vector files. As you can see, the first result and there are some you know, more options or more, uh, more patterns and vectors available. Now, this is a vector file, which means that you have to use Corel draw to, you know, create or to make some changes on this file. I'll, sh I'll show you very soon how you can do changes on files like this one. But you have seen there are several websites and there are several places from where you can download these kind of patterns. But in this case, you don't have to worry. I have given all these patterns, all these images that you see on your screen for free. So there is a link given in the video description below. If you click on that link, you will be redirected to my website blogdo.com. And here, as you can see, for every single tutorial that I create, I always create these, you know, blog post. And when you click on that link, you will be redirected to a similar blog post. You will see the video that I'm recording right now. You will see some important links at the bottom. You will see this link download free images. When you click on this download button, you will download a zip file. And when you unzip that file, you will get this folder. And as you can see, I've given all these dotted patterns all these background images, all the other images, everything for absolutely free. So you can use these images to create this website. But I'm showing you that if you don't want to use this, uh, these images, these patterns that I'm uh, that I've given you, you can search on internet for some other patterns as well. I guess now that you have your pattern, now let's see how we can add that pattern be behind this button. Okay. So to add this button, uh, to add this pattern behind this button, we have to click on, you know, advanced and we have to go to background and we have to upload that 
pattern in the background. But there is one problem over here. Let me explain you that. If I try to upload that pattern over here in the background, click on upload and let me upload that thing. This is the one that we want to use. Select, click on open, click on insert. Now, as you can see, this is how it will look like. If I make it no repeat, still it looks bad. If I, I can change the position, but it is not looking that great. If, because this is a block element, it will display only till the height and width of this button. Uh, I don't think you can understand this thing, but let me show you how you can fix this thing. First, let me get rid of this background thing. Now, if you want to use this button and if you want to upload some pattern behind this button, you can do one thing. You can add inner section and inside inner section, you can add this button. Let me show you. So you will see this option over here, inner section, drag and drop this thing over here. So now as you can see inside this left column, we have two more columns. Now obviously I don't want two columns, I just want one single column. So I can right click on this right column and click on delete. Now we have only one column. Now I can bring this button inside this inner section. Now what I can do is I can click on this button or I can click on this option, edit inner section if you follow my cursor, click on this inner six dots icon. Now let's give it a height. So you'll see this option over here, height option, select minimum height. And now as you can see, it's so much space uh, below this thing. Obviously I don't want this much space. I just want probably 120 pixels. Now the reason I'm adding this space at the bottom is because I want this thing to show at the bottom as well. Now I can do one more thing. I can change the column gap. For example, if I hide this thing, you will see there is extra space. If you see, this is where this content starts. And this button is now, you know, a little bit towards right side. We have some space at top also and also at left hand side. And, you know, some space at right and also at bottom. So if you want to get rid of this space, you can select this option column gap and you can make it no gap. Now, if, I, if you see this thing, this also starts in the same line. So this is what this thing will do. Now we can do one thing, we can simply add that pattern behind this thing, behind or in background of this inner section. So go to style, select background option and select that image. So select this pattern, click on insert media. And now as you can see, this is how it looks like. Now whenever you add any image, it will automatically be repeated. So because this is a very small image, this is getting repeated. So first thing that you should do is turn this repeat off. If you uh, turn this thing off, now as you can see, we have only one option. Now you can also change the position. You can make it center left. You can make it center right, top left, top, bottom right, you know, all these positions. Or you can have a custom position if you want. So in this case, we do want a custom position. So I'll select custom. And now as you can see, you can control X position and Y position. So I'll make it, uh, I'll bring it a little bit towards right hand side like this. Probably let me set this to... 112 or 111 and for Y, I want to bring it a little bit up. So minus three. Now, as you can see, this looks amazing. I think this looks perfect. So this is how you do it. So once you do any changes on your website, you should always remember to click on this update button so that, you know, changes, these changes that you have just, you know, done on your website, these changes are saved. Now at the right hand side, we have this illustration. So let's see how we can use these illustrations. Now again, I'm saying if you click on that link, uh, this link that I'm talking about, which is given in the video description below, I've given this illustration all the images, but let me show you how we can and from where you can download these illustrations. So if you want to download these illustrations, there is one website called undraw.com .co. Actually, go to undraw.co slash illustrations. You can do one thing, whatever websites and resources I'm telling you, you make sure you know uh, all these things down. Now here, as you can see, now many different illustrations are available for different purposes. For example, if you're creating a travel website, you can search for you no know, illustrations related to travel. If you want illustrations related to analytics, anything like that, you can do it. Here also you have the search option, click on search and let's search for analytics. And now as you can see, you will see all the illustrations related to analytics. Now, whatever you want to use, you can select this thing and you can also change the color scheme. So here, this is the default color scheme. If I want uh, probably red color or some other color scheme for my website, I can select this color. I can change this to red. And now as you can see, the color scheme is now changed to red. Now, whatever image you want to use, for example, if you want to use this image, click on this and you can download 
PNG or SVG. If you don't want to do any changes on this, you can download the PNG and you can upload this image on your website. Or if you want to furthermore do some changes on this file, you can download the SVG file. And let me show you how you can do changes on this SVG file. So first, download the SVG file on your website, on your computer. Now as you can see, this is downloaded. Now let me open this file. So show in folder. All right, so here is the file. Now you can do one thing, you can use Corel Draw to do some changes on this website. Now obviously if you don't have Corel Draw, you know how to get it on internet. So you don't, I don't have to tell you that thing. You, once you download Corel Draw, you just have to right click on this and select open with and select Corel Draw whatever version you're using. Now don't worry, this thing is not going to be very technical. I'm going to show you very basic things. B basically, if you don't want to make any changes, don't follow this step. If you want to do some more changes in this illustration, uh, it is only for that purpose. All right, guys, so here as you can see, because we have downloaded the SVG file, we can make some changes. Let me first bring it over here. Now we can see everything. Now suppose if I don't want this red color, we, had, we have this red color, but the color of this yellow did not change so I can click on this yellow thing and now as you can see at the right hand side we have different color palette I can make it this color or some other color this green color I can select this orange option I can change the color for this as well okay probably some other color like uh, this so you can do some changes like this and once you have completed these changes you can do one thing you can press Control E on your keyboard to export this file and make sure under save as you have selected PNG. This will make the background transparent. Now we can give any title to this thing and you can simply click on export. And because this file is pretty huge, I don't want this big file. I can do one thing, I can uh, decrease the width. So width can be something like 900 and the height will automatically change. Now as you can see, this is much better. So because the file is now smaller, the file size will also be smaller and also always make sure that this transparent thing is ticked. Okay, this transparency thing is tick mark. If you remove this tick here, now as you can see, you have this white background. Make sure this thing is tick marked so that we have transparent background. Now you can click on OK and this file will be exported. Let me show you this thing. Now as you can see, this is the file. If I open this thing, so you can use Corel Draw to make some changes on these you know, pages or on these files. Now since you have this illustration, now we can upload this illustration on our website. So we can come over here. We have to use this image element, simply drag and drop this image element at the right hand side. Upload some image. So again, I'm saying I have already given you this illustration. So this is the one. I'll select this thing, click on open, click on insert media. And now as you can see, this is how it will look like. Now again, make sure to always update the changes that you have made on your website. Now let's see how we can add this thing in the background. I don't know you can see this thing or not. This green thing is added in the background and this makes your website more, you know, professional. If you see throughout the website, if you see some other pages as well, you know, in the in this section, in this block section, I have added this uh, big shape in the background. If you see some other page like your about page, I think I have used this thing, uh, as you can see, this small shape over here in the background. So if you want, you can create these shapes and you can use them in the background. It will make your website look more professional. So let me first show you how you can create these kind of, you know, shapes. So again, you can go to freepick.com to download these shapes. I don't know what you can search. Let's search for shapes. Okay, as you can see, there are many different shapes available. Basically, you can download this thing and you can, you know, change uh, the style of this thing according to you. So let me show you a very simple example. Let's select a very simple one. Let's select the first option. This looks good. So you can download this thing for free. Click on download and select this option free download. Okay. Now you'll see a zip file will be downloaded. Now, as you can see, this zip file is downloaded. Now click on this or open the zip file and you'll select this EPS option, EPS file, select this EPS file, click on extract to. And again, wherever you want to extract, I want to extract this thing to my, all right. So I want to extract this thing to this folder. Click on okay, cut this thing again. I can open this thing. And now as you can see, this is the file again, you can right double click on this to open this file in Corel draw, click on okay. And this is how your shape looks like. Now, let me show you how we can do some changes. Obviously this is not a Corel draw, you know, tutorial, but I'm just showing you some changes. If you want to delete something, 
I don't want these extra things so I can do it like this. Delete them using my mouse. I can select this section, delete it. And now I don't want this thing as well so I can delete it like this. You can just click on that and you can delete it. And I don't want this text as well so I can delete them all. Now as you can see have this shape. Now if you want to increase or decrease the size of this shape, you can simply click on this and do it like this for background also. Okay, like this. So once you have this shape and once you like whatever shape you have selected and again you can change color as well. You already know this thing. Now once you like this thing, you can simply again press Ctrl E on your keyboard and you can again make sure it is PNG, give some title and export this file. So this is how you do it. Or if you want a simple version or if you want to do it in a simple way, you can go to a website called canva.com. So on this website, you can create any kind of things. Uh, if you see this recently, I've created this thing uh, just for demo purposes. So if I want to create anything like this, I can click on create a design. I can select a custom dimension and let me select a width 1280 and height will be probably 500. Okay, click on create new design. Now, once you have this design, you can do one thing at the left hand side, you will see elements, click on elements and here you will see shapes. Here, as you can see shapes, let it load properly. Okay, go, go to gradients actually. Go to gradients and here you'll see so many different shapes that you can use. Under gradients, click on see all and you will see all these options. So whatever you like, you can use this thing. For example, let's use this one. Click on this. It will automatically be copied. I want to you know, rotate this thing like this, increase the size. All right. And now as you can see, very much similar to the one that we have in our demo website. Okay. You, if you want to change the color, obviously you can click on this and you will see this color option over here. This is gr a gradient color, which is combination of two color. If I select this color and instead of this, if I select probably this color, now as you can see, the color is now changed. The gradient is now changed. If you want single color, you can select same color for both the option. Now, as you can see, this is a single color thing. Now, once you have created your shape, you can do one thing. You can download this thing. So once you click on download, make sure PNG is selected. Now there is one problem over here. You cannot download the transparent version. So to download the transparent version, you have to use, you have to upgrade to pro or you can use a 30 day trial period. But if you don't want to do that, don't worry. Let me explain you a simple version or a simple way, a free way of doing this thing. First of all, just download this thing under PNG. So select PNG, click on download. Now, once you have this file, let's see, here's the file. Now there are many more websites that you can use to make this thing transparent, right? Now this thing, the background is white. If you want to make it transparent, there are many more websites. If you want, you can go to this website, remove.bg. This uh, website will simply remove the background uh, thing as you can see over here for free. Upload any image and it will remove the background and it will give you the main thing. If I click on upload image and select any image, probably let's select, uh, let's select this image or uh, maybe this image, select this image, click on open and let me show you what happens once you upload this image. Now, as you can see, the background is automatically removed for absolutely free and you have this thing. Now you can download this thing. So similarly, you can download, uh, you can upload your file and this will remove the background and you will get this image or you can go to this website pixlr.com pxlr pxlr.com select this option pixlr e click on launch pixlr e basically this will be the url pixlr.com slash e now here you can click on open image and download the image that you have uh, you know select the image that you have downloaded from this canva so i think this is the image that we just downloaded so select uh, let me open this thing. Yeah, this is the image. So select this image. Now, once you have this image, you can now remove the background using a very simple tool, which is called the mask tool. If you uh, hover over this thing, as you can see, click on this scissor icon. It This is the mask tool. And over here, you will get many different options. Select this magic mask. Select this icon. Now click on your image. And now as you can see, the background is gone and you have a transparent background. Now you can simply click on file and you can extract export this image so I can click on save control S I can make sure it is PNG so that you have transparent background 
click on download and this file will be downloaded and now you can use this you know a background less image on your website like this one so this is how this thing is done now again i'm saying these things are also given to you in video description you don't have to follow my steps i'm just showing you how you know people create these uh, different things and how they use on a website and how to how they implement these things on the website now if you want to use this thing in the background let me show you how you can do this thing so for that you have to click on edit section now for many times it happens that for the first section you don't get that edit section option so for my case also i cannot see that option if i add some other option over here at the bottom another element another section at top of every single section you should see this six dots icon edit section if you click on this at the left hand side you will see edit section options but many a times for the first section this thing will be hidden for you so if you want to uh, fix this thing you can do one thing at the bottom left you will see navigator icon click on navigator and click on section the very first thing okay the very first section click on section and now as you can see at the left hand side it says edit section which means this is related to section setting of this thing now over here i can go to style and i can add this shape in the background so i can add this option background type and i can upload this image the shape image which is over here let's see this is the image select this image click on open click on insert media and now as you can see this is how it looks now first thing that we want to do is we don't want this thing to be repeated i want the position to be top right okay and this is how it looks like this is pretty big so i can decrease the size here you see the size option you can have a custom size and instead of 100 i'll make it to uh, let's see i think 60 percentage looks good so i can select 60 percentage now let's add some space at top and bottom so i can go to layout and we can give a custom height so that we have some space at top and bottom as well so under height select this option and make it a minimum height and instead of 400 i'll make it 650 and now as you can see we have some space at top and also at bottom and now this section looks perfect click on update now once you have created one section you should always see how that section looks on a mobile phone because our main aim is to make our website 100 percent mobile friendly i can do actually one more thing we can uh, add some extra space in between as you can see the space between both the columns is very little so under column gap we can add wide or wider so this will add this extra space over here okay narrow wide whatever space you want you can add and click on update now if you want to make this section mobile friendly and tablet friendly you will see this icon over here at the bottom left responsive mode click on this icon click on mobile now as you can see this is how it looks on mobile phone so let's fix this thing because this is not looking perfect so first of all click on this heading and uh, let's change the size of this thing for mobile phone as you can see now remember whatever changes i'm doing this is happening only for mobile phone if i again come back to desktop uh, the changes will be same and whenever you select mobile uh, responsive mode you should always see we are changing the size besides size you should see this mobile icon which means that uh, the changes that you are doing right now it will it will occur only on mobile phone now once you decrease the size you should always make it center align on mobile phone these things uh, aligned center looks better select the second option text editor again for size let's make it uh, 15 pixels and let's make it center align select button button size looks perfect just make it center align and we can do one thing we can add some space at top I, I think we need some space at top over here so i can select this first option go to advance dealing this padding and under top padding we can add probably 50 pixels or 75 pixels and now as you can see we have some space at top so this looks perfect click on update if you want to see how this looks on tablet you can select this option tablet option and this is how it looks on tablet i can again do one thing i can fix this thing Oh, for tablet maybe i want to do one thing i don't want two columns i want a single column which means that this thing this left column will be on top and this right column will be on bottom in bottom just like in mobile phone as you can see the image instead of getting at left it is at the bottom so for tablet also if i want to do this thing i can click on edit section under column width i'll type 100 percent okay for second also i'll select this option 
column width, I'll make it 100%. Now I can go ahead and make uh, any changes that I want to do. So first of all, I will select this option edit section. I'll add some space at top and bottom. So for padding top, we'll add maybe 50 pixels. Okay, like this. We have enough space at bottom, so I don't uh, think we need any space at bottom. This looks perfect. Click on update and again come back to desktop. And now as you can see desktop, no changes have taken place. It is looking perfect. Alright guys, so with this your first section is now 100% completed. Now I took a lot of time to create the first section so that you know I wanted you guys to understand every single step. Now for all the other sections, we will increase our speed, we'll go a little bit faster. Obviously because if I go at the same speed, the tutorial length will be pretty longer. So I don't, I don't want to make this tutorial 5-6 hours long tutorial, I want to keep it short, probably under 2 hours. So let's see how we can now create a second section. I guess now to create this second section, we again have to come over here, click on this plus button. And again if you see over here, for this section also we need two different columns. So we'll select two columns. Now first of all, the first thing that we need over here is this video. So we'll come back to elements and we will search for video which is over here. So select this, drag and drop this video element over here. You have to upload whatever video you want to embed over here. You can upload that video link. So I'll, I'll go to my YouTube channel and let me upload my latest video. How to create a school management system website. Very amazing. Uh, if you want to create a school management system wherein teachers can take attendance, you know, uh, they can take exams, Zoom live classes, everything is given in that. So you can simply watch that tutorial. Very important and I think very useful. So whatever video you want to embed, you can simply right click on that and click on copy link address. Come over here under link, delete this thing and paste in your link. This video will be embedded. If you want, you can do one more thing. You can, you know, add some other overlay on this like this image this kind of image any image like this one so you can enable this option image overlay and you can upload some image so let's upload probably let's upload this image click on open right, so this is pretty huge image i don't want to use this image uh, you should not be using as you can see whenever you upload any image you you should see what is the size of this image now very soon i'll show you how you can reduce this thing in fact let me show you Whenever you want to upload, uh, whenever you want any images like this one, for example, this image and all these images, you know, this uh, stock images, if you want to upload and if you want to use these images for your website, there are many useful websites that you can go to. The one that I use the most is unsplash.com. So you can go to unsplash.com. You can see some really cool images are present over here. So whatever category you are searching for, for example, I want to, uh, image related to meeting people are in meeting so I can search for meeting or meeting room or you can search for corporate and you will get all these you know stock images for free so whatever image you want you can simply select that image and click on this download free button now these images are pretty huge you know these are all full size images so this will be something sometimes like 10 MBs, 20 MB. So obviously this is not at all sensible to upload, uh, no, not at all sensi sensible to directly upload these images on your website. First, you should do some changes on this website. You should, you know, uh, resize the image and you can also change the resolution and all. I'll show you how to do that. First of all, if you want to download this image, you can simply click on this download free button and this image will be downloaded. As you can see, this is 6 MB. So this is pretty huge image. Now another website that I use a lot is pexels.com. So you can go here and again in this also if you want you can search for meeting or you can you know, search for corporate anything like that. You will get all these stock images. Now whatever image you want you can simply select that and download it. So we have already seen how to do this thing. Simply click on this and click on free download. Now because these images are pretty huge you can do one thing you can go to a website called reduce images. And here you can click on select image and uh, let me show you the image that we, in fact, let me just select this image. This is also pretty huge. This is 400, uh, 400 KB, I guess. In fact, let me just select this image. This was 5 MB as you can see and pretty uh, image size is also, you know, 53, uh, 55 into 4,000 pixels. So pretty huge image. Now the thing that I want to do over here is I want to change this thing to pixels and I want to make the width as 1280 and I want to decrease the quality of this to probably 75 click on resize and let's see 
Now, as you can see, instead of 5 MB or 6 MB, now it is only 213 KB. You can again go ahead, decrease the size of this image and also decrease the quality of the image and you can have you know, even smaller file sizes. Or you can go to another website called squish.app and you can upload your image over here and uh, you can do one thing, you can simply drag and drop that image. So let me see that image first. So this was the image, I can simply drag and drop this image over here. Now in this, you can also see these changes. Let me bring it over here. So first of all, we want to resize it. So we'll tick mark this resize and instead of width, you know, 5350, I'll make it 1280 and height. I don't want to maintain aspect ratio. So for height, maybe I'll select 720. Or you can also do one thing, you can, you know, crop this image if you want. And over here, under quality, you can decrease this thing and you can see the changes between these images. Okay, if I do it like this, you can see the changes. So whatever you like, you can select that option and you will see this file size over here at bottom. Right now it is 134 KBs. So you can reduce the file size like this and after that you can click on this download button and this new file will be downloaded. So make sure whenever you upload or whenever you download any images like that, first you resize that image and you also decrease the quality of that image and after that you upload on your website or else your website will take a lot of time to load. So let me upload some other image over here. Let me select, uh, let's scroll down. Let's select this image. This is only 100, 100 KB. So I'll select this image, click on insert media and this is fine. Now you can do one more thing. If I click on this thing, it, you know, just starts, <laughs> starts playing. I can do one thing. I can enable this light box. So when I click on this first, uh, it will show me this light box and now I can play this video. So you have this option as well. Now below this thing, I want to add this simple text so I can copy this text, come over here. And again, to add this thing there, are, you know, you can add heading or you can use text editor, whatever you want. I want to use heading, so I'll drag and drop this heading over here. I'll add this text like this and we'll go to style, change this text color to this color. We have already added this color in the color palette, so I can select this thing and this is the color. Now let's change the typography. So I want to decrease the size to 14 and I want to make it lighter, so 400, okay? Let's add some space as well, line height, so 1.4, all right? And I think this looks good. Now I want to do one thing if you see over here, uh, at the left hand side we have some small space over here and we also have this border at the left hand side. So to add these things, under padding you can select this option left and you can add some padding at left. Maybe let's add 25 pixels. Now we can select border and uh, select border type solid and only in border left select 4 pixels. Let's choose this color and let's make it lighter like this. Let's see. Now, as you can see, this is how it looks like. Now, once you make any changes on your website, always make sure to update that page. Now, let's see how we can add these things. Now, once we, um, once we add this section, once we create this section, all the other sections will be pretty easier because as you can see, the style of this title, subtitle, separator, this button is very much similar for all the other sections. So once we create this section, all the other sections will be you know, very easy and it will take hardly a few seconds or just few minutes to create those sections. So let's add these things. So first of all, we want to add this text. So I'll copy this text, come over here, drag and drop this heading at the right hand side, uh, add any title you want. Now for the style of this thing, we have to change the color to let's see. We have this red color, so I'll select this red color. Now for typography, now again and again, we don't have to change the typography. Default typography is Ruporto, but you're doing changes, uh, you know, we are making it pop ins again and again. So again, to save some time over here, you can click on this hamburger icon, this three lines icon, click on default fonts. Now for all this primary, secondary, body and accent, accent text, you can make this thing pop in. So you don't have to do it again and again. Default font family will be pop ins. So heading, subheading, Body text also will be the same font family and accent text will also be the same font family. So again, we'll save some time. We don't have to set, you know, typography font family pop-ins every single time. Now I want to decrease the size to 16 and I want to make it lighter at 500. Okay, so this is how this will look like. Then after that, we have this text. So I'll copy this, 
bring this heading over here just below this thing paste in this thing go to style and this is big so first of all color is this color now we don't have to change the typography to poppins this is automatically poppins so i'll make it 45 and uh, let's add some line height that will add some space at bot top and bottom if you if i add this thing you can see the changes on your website let me make it 1.4 now as you can see it has added some space at top and bottom and finally let's add this simple divider so we can come over here and we have this divider drag and drop this divider over here uh, i don't want this to be 100 percent i just want this to be probably 50 not percentage 50 pixels so i'll click on px type in 50 over here now we'll go to style and i want to make it bolder so four pixels and now as you can see this is pretty bold gap will be zero and this color will be this red color now we can do one thing we can add some as you can see below this uh, separator we have a decent amount of space at bottom so i can add some spa uh, spacing or some padding at bottom so maybe i want to add 30 pixels at bottom okay so this is how it looks like then after that we have some simple text so i can copy these text from here come over here and use this text editor now paste in your text over here whatever text or type in your text go to style it is already poppins we don't have to make it poppins change the color and let's change the size so i think this size looks good or maybe let's make it 16 a little bit bigger and let's make it lighter at 300 pixels and if you want you can also add some line height i think line height looks good but if you want you can even increase this thing to 1.7 or 2 and again after this also i want to add some padding because as you can see below this text we have a decent amount of padding at bottom so we can go to advance under padding bottom i can type in 30 and now as you can see this will add this padding at bottom then after that we have this button so we don't have to create this button again we have already created a similar button at top so we can do one thing save some time right click on this button click on copy come over here right click click on paste we have this button we can do some changes this button says take a tour so instead of get started now i can type take a tour and we can also change this icon so again we have the same right side thing but this icon is a little bit different maybe this icon select this click on insert okay now as you can see this is how it looks like you can also make some changes in padding i think i'll add let's see i think it looks good i don't need to change this thing just click on update now finally let's do some changes in the section background so if you see properly, if you see carefully, we have image in the background and on top of that image, we have this overlay color and we also have some space at top and bottom. And then after that, we have this pattern over here. So to do these things, you will click on this option, edit section. And first of all, let me do one thing. Let me add this background image. So under background, I'll select this option and I'll add this image. Let me show you that image over here, this image. Okay, this is also, as you can see, downloaded from Unsplash. So select this image, click on open. And I have already uh, you know, done some changes. So this is only 94 KB. Click on insert media and you will see this image in the background. I want to change this size to cover so that, you know, it displays the entire image. And I want to change the position to center center. Now we can uh, do one thing. We can add some space at top and bottom first. So under padding top and bottom, I'll add 100 pixels. Okay, only at top and bottom. Now again, come back to style and let's add background overlay. So select this option and uh, select color. You can select this color, maybe not this color. Let me type in this color. F7, F7, FC. We'll be using this color a lot. So again, for this color, color also, I'll add this under my list. Now, once you have this color, let's increase the opacity so that it becomes darker like this. Let's make it 94, 95. Okay, 95 looks good. And I think this section is also now completed. Click on update. Again, you can go ahead and you can see how this looks on mobile phone. Do And you can do some changes. I think we can add some space in between. And one more thing, the width of this section is also pretty small, I have just noticed. So you can do one thing, go to layout. First of all, let's add some space in between. So under column gap, I'll make it wider. And now as you can see, there is decent amount of gap between columns. And I don't want this column width to be this much, which means that the width, the content will be inside this much space. 
So I can decrease this space. For example, if I type in 800 over here, now as you can see, the content will have to adjust only between or only within 800 pixels. I do obviously don't want to make it 800. I want to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit wider to maybe 140 or 1040. So for content width, I think 1040 looks better. And this is how your section will look like. You can do one thing. This image is floating at top, not at uh, not in middle. So you can end, uh, set this content align vertical align to middle. And now as you can see this, everything is now aligned in middle. Click on update. All right, so once you create this section, now let's see how we can create our next section, which is also pretty easy. We'll come over here, click on this plus button, three columns, because right now, as you can see, one column, two column, and this is your third column. Now the thing over here is that first two columns are pretty small and the second one is bigger. So this is 25 percentage, 25 percentage and 50 percentage. So total should always be 100 percentage so that it displays in one single line. So I'll select this option, edit column, make it 25. Select the second option, edit column. Okay, click on this, make it 25 as well. And the third column will automatically become 50 percentage. Now over here, let's start with this text. Okay, so I'll copy this text like this come over here and drag and drop this heading thing, heading element, paste in this text. Let me bring it at top again. You can do one thing. You can add that break to make, to make sure that this thing comes in two lines. If you want, you can do that. Now go to style. Let's style this thing. I want to make it white color, but right now if I change this color to white, this will disappear because the background color is also white. So we'll change the color later on. Right now you can set it to, you know, to any color you want. Now we can change the typography. It is already popping. So we don't need to do that. We can increase the size, make it lighter and let's add some line height of 1.4 EM. Now what I want to do is, as you can see on top of this thing, on top of this uh, text, there is this space. So I can select this option, go to advanced under padding, under padding top, I'll type in 325. Okay. Or whatever space you want. Now, as you can see, we have this space at top. So once you, once you have created this text, now we can add this image in the background and we can add this overlay on top of that image. So select this option, edit column. Now go to style, select background image, upload this image. Now for this also, if you see, if you download any images like this one, and if you want to crop that image, for example, as you can see, this was the original image and I cropped it to make it something like this. So let me show you how we can do anything like this. So you can do, or you can do these things on a website called photo.com F O T O R. And you can click on edit a photo first, let it load. You can create a new design, make a collage, or you can edit a photo. So click on edit a photo. If we have a full size image, you can you know, do some changes. I can click on upload. Now, as you can see, for example, this is the image. I'll select this image, click on open. Now we can crop this image like this. And I want to make it, you know, the width should be, uh, I would basically want to make it, you know, rectangular image, vertical image like this one. Okay. The one which we have used over here. So you can simply crop this image like this on photo.com. Click on apply. You can rotate this image. You can do some basic changes like brightness, contrast, you know, you can increase the sh sharpness. You can increase the saturation. Okay. You can do these things as well. You can fine tune. You can you know do some changes with the color. Okay. You can resize the image. You can do all these things. So once you like this image, once you find the perfect thing, you can click on apply and you can now download this image. So you can click on the save button uh, and you can give it any name and click on download and this file will be saved. And you can also see the file size. Let's upload the high, high quality. This is 99 KB. So you can download these images. You can do some changes cropping like this. And once you have this image, you can come over here click on upload and let me upload this image, this one. And we had one more and this one. Okay. I'm uploading these two images for the first, probably I'll select this column or this image, click on insert media. This is how this image looks like because the image size is bigger. I can set this size to cover so that it displays the entire image. And now we can add that overlay. So go to background overlay. If you want, you can add a single color overlay like this, or maybe this. Or if you want, you can add a gradient overlay. So select this gradient. And now as you can see, overlay of two colors. Now what I want to do is first color should be transparent, which means that there shouldn't be no color at top. 
and at bottom I want this color okay you can see the changes over here as well at top there is no color at bottom we have this dark blue color and I want to change the opacity to 1 okay so very dark now we can do one thing we can right click over here click on duplicate to duplicate this column uh, let me right click and delete this empty column and again we have to change the column width so click on edit column go to layout change this to 25 percentage second also will be 25 percentage now we don't have any space in between so I can do one thing I can click on edit column go to advance and for margin left and right we can add probably let's see 10 for second also click on edit section go to advance for margin left and right we can add 10 pixels so that we have this space in between now I can click on this text and I can change this color to white color or whatever color you want select this text change the color click on update now as I said you earlier because we have already created these things now it will save a lot of time so let me copy paste everything so I'll copy this thing paste it over here copy this title paste it over here copy this separator paste it below title and after that uh, we have some text so copy this text, paste it over here and at the bottom we have the link but before we add that link let's change the text. So right now at top it says what we do so I can click on Y chooses and I can just change the content. Now as you can see styling and all is present we just have to change the content for title also. I just want to change the content to this thing and I want to do one thing this size is pretty bigger so I can decrease the size a little bit this is 45 let's make it 35 all right and we can do some changes with the text as well let me delete this text fine now at the bottom I want to display this text so I can do one thing I can bring this heading over here copy this thing I think it is not heading it is button as you can see we have this icon over here so I can delete this heading I can bring button over here enter the text add some icon over here right side arrow probably this icon select this click on insert after this thing now I'll go to style I don't want any padding so I'll make padding 0 and also I don't want any background color so I'll make background color transparent like this and for text color this color now let's change the typography let's increase this size so for this maybe uh, let's see 25 okay this I think looks good let's make it underline now click on update so as you can see once you have this thing now everything becomes much easier we just have to copy paste this style now let's add some space at top and bottom padding at top and bottom so click on edit section and now we can come come over here and uh, uh, advance and let's add padding of 100 pixels both at top and bottom and I can do one thing I want to increase the width of the content a little bit so I can go to layout and under content width I will type in probably let's add 1280 now as you can see width is increased if you compare the uh, top section and the bottom section the width of this section is now increased and you can also add some space column gap over here if you want so we can add column gap of wide and now as you can see this is how it looks like again you can just go ahead and click on update and this thing this page will be updated the changes will be saved now let's create our next section which is also a very simple section so we'll click on this plus button now we want to add only one column copy paste everything from here to save some time paste in this thing copy paste it over here and we also have the separator so copy the separator and paste it over here now obviously everything will be center aligned so click on this make it center align change the content so change this text select this make it center align and also change the content for this one it says our services so we'll type in our services over here now below this thing we want to add multiple columns so for that we'll add inner section at the bottom now here as you can see by default we have two we can right click on this edit column click on add new column and now we have three different columns now inside these columns we want to add this icon box so come back to elements and search for icon box like this 
Now there are two options. This is the one icon box and this is icon box by eKit. I just want to use the regular one. You can use any one of these. So I'll just drag and drop this icon box over here. Select the icon. We want this charts icon. So I'll search for charts. Select this icon. Click on insert. Now let's change the view or style of this thing. You can have it stacked or you can also have it framed. And for framed also you can make it cent uh, circle or you can make it square. So we want to make it frame circle. Now for title I want to make it digital marketing or whatever services you provide. And some text about those services. Alright. Now let's uh, change the style of this thing. So go to style. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to make this border of this circle you know more darker so or more bolder so I can select this option here it is border width make it 4 pixels and now as you can see it is become more bolder now let's change some settings related to color so here the color is this red color so we can change this primary color to this red color now let's do some changes for the content select content and here we have the color of the title which is this color as you can see for this let's increase the size as well so select this typography and let's make it 20 pixels. Rest everything is fine. Select this option, description, change the color. And let's increase the size for this one as well. Make it 16. And if you want, you can make it 300 just to make it a little bit lighter and click on update. Now you can do one thing. You can click on this edit section because edit column actually, because we want to do one thing when you hover over this thing, as you can see, we see this very light box shadow. So if you want to achieve this design, you can uh, you can do these changes. And you also want to do one thing as you can see on top of this icon and on left, right from every side, we have this padding, okay, this space. So let's see how we can add that space. First thing, simple thing, space, go to advance and let's see, uh, let's add maybe 50 pixels from all sides or you can do one thing. You can add 50 from top and bottom and 40 from left and right. Once you have this thing, come back to style, select border and select hover because we don't want border uh, regularly when someone hovers over that icon box, we want that, you know, effect over there. So under box shadow, just click on this button and it will automatically add this shadow as you can see. Now I want to do one thing. I want to, you know, make the corners a little bit around though. As you can see, the corners right now are very sharp. We can make the corners rounder. So we can come over here under border radius. Let's select 30 again. Let's see. Now, as you can see, corners are now rounded and I can change the color of this thing. So I can select a color like this and you can also make it lighter, decrease the transparency. And now I think it looks perfect. So once you have this thing, you can now duplicate these columns. And now we can delete these empty columns. And you can go ahead, duplicate this entire section, right click duplicate. And now to make changes to the second one, click on the second one, change the icon to this icon. This is also very similar chart. I'll select this one, click on insert. Title is marketing analysis. And this is how you can just go ahead and do some changes. Now click on update. Now in this section, we have done some changes. First of all, click on this edit section. Let's add some padding at top and bottom. So this time I want to add more padding at top and bottom. So I'll add 150 both at top and bottom. I also want to change the background color. As you can see, the background color of this section is different. So we'll go to background, select this color and select this color F7, F7, FC, which we have already added. Now I want to add some space or some divider, shape divider, both at top and bottom. So you will see this shape divider, select top and there are so many, as you can see, this is drop. Then we have clouds. If you see, this is the clouds option. Then we have waves, we have curves. I want to select waves like this. And for bottom also, I want to select waves. You can see the changes over here. You can do some changes. For example, you can increase or decrease the way or width like this. You can also change some, do some changes in the height. And uh, let's see, let's make it like this. You can also flip this thing like this and you can invert it if you want. Okay. So you can do some things like this thing. And after that, you can simply update this page. And with this, this section is also completed. Now let's create a next, next section, which is very simple. Uh, we have only this simple uh, testimonial thing. So we'll add a single column over here, copy paste these things from top. So click on copy. 
paste it over here. Copy, paste this thing. And again, copy this divider from here and obviously paste it at bottom. Now uh, you can just go ahead and do the changes in the content. And after that, we have to add this testimonial section at bottom. So come back to elements and search for testimonial. Now, if you search for testimonial, this is the one that we want testimonial by eKit. So drag and drop this testimonial at bottom. And there are so many different designs as you can see when you hover over that. I want the first design that is selected. Okay. Now go to testimonial section. I just want one for now so I can delete all the other. Okay. So that it, it does not move like this. Now click on this testimonial. Client name is John Doe or whatever the name is. All right. Designation probably CEO at uh, any company name. Okay. So probably this is CEO at some company. Then review text, which is a text like this. Okay. Lorem Ipsum, any text like this. So I'll just copy some text, paste it over here. And this is how it will look like. Now client avatar and logo. This is the low. This will be the logo at top and this will be the client avatar. So logo first, let's upload that logo. Let me select this client photo as well and select this logo. Click on open. For now, I want to upload the logo. So I'll select this logo, click on insert media. Logo is present. Now select client image, select your client image. All right. So this is how it looks like. Now let's do some changes. Let's do some styling options. So go to style. Now, first thing that I want to do is I want to, let's see, we have description. Let's do some changes in description, which is this text. So I can do some changes over here. I can change the height to 20. And we can make it lighter, like at 500. This looks better. Now let's do some changes to this option. Client details. Now color will be, you know, this color. So I'll select this color over here, this primary color. And I'll increase the size. So under typography, for first thing, for first name, I'll make it 13. Okay, this is the second one. Make it 17. And for second thing, okay, first thing was over here. That is why. Select this option, make it 30. Name will be 30 and designation will be 17 pixels and color for both will be this primary color. Now, if you see one thing, when I hover over this image, we have this option, we get this animation. I don't want any such animation so I can see this option. I think it is over here. Let me see. Okay. So it is under client, under client, you will see client image background type. If you select this option and if you select any color, now as you can see, we get this color. So what I want to do is select any color and after that, just make it transparent. Okay. Like this. Now, as you can see, you don't have any changes when I hover over this image, nothing happens. So this looks perfect that I can now click on update, come back to content. And now you can add some more testimonials. I'll simply duplicate this one and it one more testimonial will be added. And this will be a slider. You can go to settings to control the slider. Let me add, let me do some changes in the second one. Client name, I'll change the name over here. Similarly, client avatar, you can do that. Uh, you can do some changes on that as well. Okay, you can add some other image. And now as you can see, this is working. You can go to settings and slides to show will be one. Slides to scroll will be one. And you can decrease the speed. I think this is pretty fast. So I can make it 2500, which is two and a half seconds. Okay, or you can... Uh, type 2000, which will be two seconds. Now click on update. Finally, I think we can add some space at bottom and top. So select this option, go to advance and under padding top and bottom, I'll make it hundred pixels. Click on update. All right. So let's create a final section, which is our block section. Now, before we create a block section, first we have to create these blog posts. So to create these, come back to your dashboard, click on post. Now one blog post will be automatically created. This is a dummy one. Hello world. Make sure to first delete this one. Now to add a new post or to add a new blog post, you can simply click on this add new. Now let me do one thing. Let me open a simple blog post here so that we can simply copy paste things from here. So this will be your title of the blog. You can enter your title over here. Then when you scroll down, this is your content. So I'll simply copy the content and paste it over here. You will, you will be typing your content over here. Now go to document. You can add a featured image for your document. So I'll select this image as, as my featured image. 
and you can also add a category. So if you're talking about different things, you can add different categories. So in this, as you can see, we are talking about SEO. So I can give it a category of SEO. Now I can simply publish this post. And this is how easy it is to create a post. Once you have created a post, now you can do one thing. You can right click on this section, click on copy. Uh, right click over here, click on paste. So we can copy paste the entire section so that we can save some time. Now come back to home page in the demo website, scroll down. And here you will see this is your title. So I'll change the title. And instead of this thing, right click, click on delete. I don't want testimonials. We want these blog posts over here at bottom. So we'll come over here, search for blog and select this option blog post, not this one. Search for post. And you have to select this one, option post grid. Drag and drop this thing at the bottom and you should see a section like this. Now, first of all, I don't want this title at top. This is my post title. So I can click on this option post content. And here, as you can see, heading of the grid, I don't want anything over here. So I'll simply delete that thing. I also don't want this filtration. So I can go to setting. You will have this filterable option over here. Make it no. Then over here, I, do, I, I want to display my thumbnail. Then I, have to, I want to display the title and this meta description. But I don't want to display this text, this excerpt or this summary. So I can come back to this content, click on post content and you should see, let me just increase the size a little, little bit. You'll see this option, display post summary, make it no. And now that is now hidden and this is how it looks like. So this is how you make this website. Now, one more thing, if you want to add this big shape in the background, you can simply go ahead, click on edit section, go to style. We have seen this thing uh, multiple times, go to background upload this image which is already given to you and I've also explained you how you can create these simple images. Click on open, click on insert media. You have this image over here. First of all, make sure it is no repeat and let's decrease the size to custom and position. Let's make it top center or top right. Fine. Click on update. I think you can decrease the size even more. Let's make it 60, not 60. Let's make it 75. I think 75 looks perfect. Select this thing and click on update. And finally, you have this option. And so let me very quickly create this thing. Simply copy this title, paste it over here. Let's see what we have. We have this button. So everything is already present. We just have to copy paste everything. Copy this button, come at bottom. Paste it over here, make it center align, select this option, edit section, give it a height, whatever height you want, 400, 450, 500, let's select 500. And you can add this image in the background, which is also given to you, this map, dotted map image. If you search over here, here it is, as you can see, select this map, click on open, click on insert media once it is uploaded. I think this is pretty large file. 500 KB. So I think you should not use this thing. Let's first reduce the size of this thing. So go to reduce images. Now let's select that image, which is over here. Click on open. Let's see the size. Size I think is fine. Width and height is fine. I just want to decrease the quality to 65. Click on resize. Now 140 pixels. I think this is fine. We can download this thing. Let's see what is in PNG. Your PNG is even bigger. So JP, JPEG is fine. Now come over here, upload the new resized image download. And here it is map, open this file. Okay. This is much better. Now this is very dark. So I don't want this dark image. Okay. Let's do one thing. Let's not upload under background. Let's upload under background overlay so that we can control the opacity as well. Select this image, click on insert media. Make the size cover and now let's decrease the opacity to 0.25 or whatever you want like this. Okay. I think even more 0.15 probably click on update. So with this, this entire page is now hundred percent completed. So once you complete this page, you can now come back to your dashboard. And if you see your website in a new tab, let's see. Now, as you can see, your homepage looks perfect. Oh, okay, we, we, we missed one thing, animation, very simple thing. Let me very quickly show you that as well. Click on edit with Elementor. Now, if you want to add any animation, you can just click on the, that element, go to advanced 
and you have motion effect, you can select anything. So for this fade in, now as you can see, we have fade in down for the second one, go to advance, maybe fade in up. So similarly, you can go ahead and add animation to all these elements. All right. Now come back to this option. Now let me show you, this was the first thing, how you can create a website or a page using, uh, using elements from scratch. Now let me show you two other ways very quickly. So I'll just add a new page. I'll give it a title of demo, make it hundred percent full width and disable the title. Now let's click on edit with Elementor. Now I'm showing you how you can create a page using blocks. So blocks, I've already shown you what are blocks. These are different sections. This is your hero section. This is your about section. So this, uh, this is basically your about block, hero block and services block, this kind of thing. So using this block, you can do one thing. You can first create the layout and later on you can design it. So add to add a block, click on this option, add template and click on blocks. Here it is, as you can see, third option or first option blocks. And now as you can see, we have different blocks over here. You can also see blocks based on different category. For example, for first block, we can search for hero block. So here it is hero. Now, whatever block style you like, uh, there will be some free and some premium as well. So premium, you cannot download it or you cannot use it for that. You will have to use Elementor premium. So suppose uh, let's use this one. This is a free version. Select this, click on insert. Now to insert this thing, first you have to click on get started, connect your website with Elementor. So simple, just click, click on this button, connect button. And now this will be inserted. So you have your first section. So now to create your second section, click on this option and search for about block. And now remember one thing as well. First, let me just upload this block. If you see my website, what I've done is I've created, a, I've followed a process of called, you know, dark and light. So first thing is lighter. We don't have, we have a very light background or maybe we don't have anything in the background. In the second section, we have something in the background. So this will be called darker section or darker background or darker section. So light section, dark section, then again, light section, then again, something in the background, which will you know technically make it dark section. Then again, light, then dark. So you can follow this process. So here is, I have done the same thing. First is dark. Then we have light section, which is nothing in the background. Then similarly, you can go ahead, you can add some more sections. So this is how you do it. Now, once you have the layout, once you have all your section, now you can go ahead and design this website, however you want it. And I've already shown you how you can design this thing. So this was using blocks. Now this, uh, these things that, I, that I was using right now, these were the default blocks by Elementor. We have all also used a plugin. We have also downloaded a plugin called eKit Elementor, if you remember. So you will see this button if you have downloaded that plugin eKit button. And once you click on this button, you will get some more blocks and templates. Uh, and these are much better ones. Let me show you. And now as you can see, these are ready-made pages, but we want blocks or sections. So click on sections. And these are ready-made sections and these are pre-designed as you can see, if you want hero section, you will click on hero or I think they call it header section, I guess. Let me see. Let's see banner. I think, okay. They call it banner section. Now some are premium, some are free. You can see when you hover over that, if it says GoPro, it is premium uh, or if it's, uh, if it does not show anything, if you just shows this insert, this is free. So for example, I can just insert this thing. So this is pre-designed. So this is a little bit better than that one previous one. So you have this section. Now again, you can just go ahead, click on eKit element and you can, you know, use the same layout. And similarly, we had also used or we have also imported or installed one plugin called Envato elements, which according to me is the best plugin for element of free plugin. So if you have installed that plugin, you will get this button Envato elements, click on this. And here also we have free blocks. So suppose if you want header block or hero block, click on hero. Now these blocks are the best, you know, the Envato blocks, Envato element uh, kits and, you know, templates. These are the best design elements and blocks. So I would recommend you to use Envato ones. As you can see, a uh, very uh, professionally designed and you can see all these options. So whatever you want to use, for example, if you want to use this one or maybe this one, select this, click on insert template. And now as you can see, this is imported or inserted again, you can go ahead a uh, free block. Uh, maybe, uh, let's add uh, focus boxes. And these are different boxes as you can see, uh, pre-designed. 
Suppose if I want to use this one, I can click on insert template. And this is also 100% imported for you. Now this was the second style using blocks. Let's see how we can create a website, which is the most simplest way of uh, creating a website using templates, pre-made templates. So first of all, let's use the default premium, default uh, Elementor template. So you'll go to pages and here, as you can see, most of the good ones are obviously premium ones. So if you see uh, you know, some of the, most of them are actually free. Some of them are premium. So whatever page you want, you can select this thing. Now, again, I would recommend you to use this Envato elements. Now, the reason I'm recommending Envato is all the other pages, whether it's eKit or Elementor, you will see home page looks different. And for about page, you don't have very similar design. But in Envato elements, we have a complete kit. If you click on free kits, now as you can see, there are so many different pre-made layouts for restaurants. For example, if you like uh, this uh, layout, you can click on this. You can click on preview. First of all, now the best thing about this Envato element is you have a complete package. Let me show you. For example, you can, you have a design for home page and there are several, you know, three, four different designs for home page. If you don't like this design, you can add this design and for about page, you have a similar design. So you don't have to, you know, import different pages and different designs, all the pages. And now as you can see the font family, which is used, the color scheme, which is used everything is consistent throughout this package. So this is the best one. If you want to create or if you want to import the home page, you select this home page, which is over here. First, let's come over here. If I like this, I can click on ins uh, install kit. Now, once this kit is installed, you can go back to install kits, click on this option. If I'm creating my home page, I can click on insert template and this entire template will be inserted. Let me show you. Now, as you can see, this entire template is now imported for you. So this is the most easiest way of creating a website using pre-made templates. All right. Now let me cut this page. Now let's see how we can create uh, different pages, the about page, contact services page and block page. Basically, obviously we, we will not be creating this thing because this will take a lot of time. I've already shown you how we can create a website from scratch using blocks and also using templates. So as I've said you earlier, there is a link given in the video description below. If you click on that link, you can download a zip file. When you unzip that file, you'll get all these images for free and you'll also get a folder. In this folder, you have some files. Uh, you have this about us, contact us services file. So you have to import these files. So click on pages, click on add new. Let's create our about page. Let's give it a title of about us or just about if you want. Let's make it 100% full width and disable the title section. Click on publish. Now click on edit with Elementor. Now select this option, add template. Go to my templates. We don't have, okay, we do have templates, but you can uh, import these templates which I have given you for free. So click on import template, select file and uh, open this pages folder. Select about us, click on open. This template will be imported on your website. If you want, you can use it. We don't want to use it right now. First, let's import all the templates. Now select and import the second template, which is your contact template. And now select and import your final template, which is your services template. Now, because we are creating our home page, we'll select this about we, because we are creating our about page. We'll select this about us and click on insert. And now as you can see your entire about page is now in front of you, Wh whatever changes you want to make. I've already shown you, you just click on this image. You just click on these things and you can just replace them with some other things. Okay. Now click on update. Now let's again, come back to your dashboard and now let's upload the contact page. So let's give it a title of contact and let's make it hundred percent full width and let's disable the title section, publish this page, click on edit with Elementor. Click on add template, my templates. We have already imported the contact template. So select this option, contact us agency, click on insert. And we have this template over here. Now the main thing that we want to do over here is this contact form. So your contact form is looking good, but not looking great. If you see this contact form, which I've created in the demo website, this looks perfect. This looks professional. So if you want to create a, a similar contact section, you can open dashboard in a new tab, click on contact. And here you have your contact form one, click on edit. 
and again open the file that you have downloaded and select this option contact form open this contact form file copy everything from here come back to this website delete everything and whatever you have copied from this page paste it over here and click on save now again if you come back over here and refresh this page now this is how it looks like now once uh, there is one more file if you see CSS file so let me uh, show you I, I'll show you actually if, uh, after a few minutes how you can import that CSS file and after that your contact form will look something like this okay for now we can leave it like this if you want to change this uh, address you can click on this pencil button and you can enter your address whatever address you enter over here it will automatically show on this map now again come back to dashboard and let's create our services page so click on pages click on add new let's add services title Make it 100% full width and disable the title section. Publish this page and after that click on edit with Elementor. Now let's follow the same procedure. Click on this add template, my templates. And uh, here we have services. Click on insert. And these, this page is now also present for you. All right. After that, just click on update. Now let's create a block page. So for that, we don't need any template. You just have to create a new page and give it a title of blog like this click on publish and just like we set our home page we have to set this page as a blog page so go to settings hover over settings and click on reading and under post page select the blog page and click on save changes and that page is now set as your blog page now finally let's do some final customization on the website now, okay before that let's create a menu and let's create a footer Okay, so we don't have any menu over here and we also don't have any such footer. So let's first create our menu. So to create your menu, hover over appearance and click on menus. Now let's give it any title. I'll name it main menu. You can name it anything you want. You can name it primary menu or just menu. And after that, just click on create menu. Now select all the pages that you want to display on this. So I want to display all these pages. You can also rearrange these pages like this. And once you have uh, set this thing, just take mark this thing at the bottom main, click on save menu. If you now come back to your website and refresh it, you have your menu at top. Now let's see how we can create these footers. So come back now under appearance, click on widgets, click on leave. Now here, as you can see, we have footer one, two, three, four. So under footer one, I want to add this simple thing. Okay. This simple about thing. So I can come back. Select this option text widget, select footer one, click on add widget. Now, first of all, I want to add this logo at top. Now we haven't yet created our logo. Now there is a complete different tutorial on YouTube on my channel, how to create a logo. But if you want to create a simple logo like this one, you can again use canva.com to create a logo, click on create a design and search for logo. If you don't see logo over here, search for logo like this. And here, as you can see logo. There are different, uh, you know, dimensions and for different type of, uh, category. I just select logo and there are so many different pre-made logos for you. You just have to, you know, enter your own things on that. You can see all these designs at the left hand side, whatever logo you want. For example, if you want a logo like this one, you can click on this. You will have this design over here. Now, instead of thunderbolts, you can just click on that and you can enter your name or your brand over here. All right. Let me decrease the size to 32 and your logo is now ready. You can now download this thing. All right. So you can do it like this or you can do one thing. Let me again come back to home page. If you want to create a very simple logo like this one, which I've created over here, you can click on create a design and uh, let's select a custom dimension. Let me select a width of probably 244 and height of 60. And let me add simple text. Okay. As you can see, there are so many different styles for text. I just want a very simple text, very simple style. So I'll select this add heading. I'll enter my name or my brand name or my company name. I'll just enter marketing over here. I'll increase the size of this text like this. All right. Let's change the color to probably Let's select this color, maybe this, this. So whatever color you want to select, select that color. 
Now for M, I just want to change the color of this letter M to some other color like this. And now as you can see, we have this design. Now click on download, PNG, click on download. And now your logo is now ready. So you can use this thing or you can use the other method that I've shown you how to create different logos. Once you have your logo, you can click on add, add media, upload your logo over here. Let me upload uh, this option. Click on open, click on insert into post. You can also increase or decrease the size of this image like this. Okay. And be below this thing, I want to add simple text. Click on save. Now for the second, I just want for the second section or for the second column in the footer, I just want to display my menu. Okay. That I've created at top. So to do this thing, I'll click on this option, navigation menu, select footer two, click on add widget and to title under select menu, select main menu, click on save. If I again refresh this page, these two things will be present. As you can see this uh, about thing and this menu is now present. Now let's add these two things, recent post and contact info. So for recent post, you will see this recent post option over here, drag and drop under footer three. And this is uh, done. Now contact info, drag and drop under footer four. I don't want this extra text so I can delete this text. And now as you can see, you have address title and content. So if you want to display your address, don't change the icon class and title, just change this content. So instead of this address, delete this thing and enter your own address. Similarly for phone and mobile also, if you don't want to display facts, delete everything under facts. Similarly, if you maybe don't want to display a website, delete everything under website. And also if you don't want to display Skype, delete everything under that. After that, if you come over here and refresh this page, now as you can see, this is how it looks like. Obviously, we will be designing this thing. We'll change the design very soon. For now, this is how it looks like. Now let's do the final customization. So click on this customize link, which is given at top. Now let's start from top. So first of all, if you see on top of your header, we have this section. We have one more section on top of header. So that is the top bar. So click on this top bar from the left hand side. Here you have top bar, click on that, click on general and simply untick this thing and that section will be disabled. Now I want to do one thing actually, let me do one thing. Let me go to pages. I want to make the menu on home page transparent. Right now it is not transparent. So I can click on home, click on edit. Now scroll down and here you see header and under header style, make it transparent. Click on update. Again, under customize page, refresh it. And now as you can see, we have a transparent menu. I also don't want this line. If you can see this border at bottom. So for that, we can go to header uh, general and I can disable this thing header border bottom. That thing is now gone. Now let's upload the logo. So click on logo under header, upload your logo like this and just crop this logo. Maybe I want to select this much section, click on crop image. This logo will be displayed over here. If the logo size is bigger, you can have a maximum width of 140 and maximum height of 50. All right. Now click on publish again. Come back. Now let's change the color of this menu. So click on menu link color. Let's change this to some other color, whatever color you want. Link hover color. You can leave that thing. Now click on publish. Now let's come back and change the typography for menu and for all the other things. So select typography first. Let's add, uh, let's do the changes with main menu. So click on main menu for this. I will increase the size instead of 13. I'll make it 16. Now, as you can see much better, click on publish again, come back. And I also want to do one thing. If I open a single post, if I open this blog post, let me show you one thing. You can see the content over here is this gray color. I want to change the content color to black. So click on body and change the font color of body to black. Now, as you can see, this is all black and this is looking much uh, better. Very easy to read. Now come back. Let's do changes to this footer. So again, come back and select this option footer widget. Now for footer background color, I want this color to be F7, F7, FC. Okay. This color. And for text color and all the other colors, you can set this to you know, this color or whatever color we have used over here, our primary and secondary color. Let me again go, go back over here, use color picker, get our primary color from here. 
paste it uh, under text color. Okay, much better. And for link color also, instead of white, I'll just paste in this color. All right, now click on publish. Now again, come back and let's do some changes with the footer bottom. Now, as you can see, that is now hidden. So select this footer bottom and first of all, change the text color to white. Now you can see that properly at the bottom. And if you want to change the footer thing, copyright text, instead of ocean WB theme by Nick, I can type in made by Nayer Shake. You can use HTML elements over here if you want to add some links or anything. Now, as you can see, this thing is now hidden. The title of this is now hidden. If you want to do some changes to this, you can go to typography, select this option, footer widget heading, change this color to black color. Now you can see it properly. You can also increase the size and make it bolder like this. Click on publish. Now if you see blog page, this is how the blog page style looks like. I want to change this thing. So we'll come back, select blog, blog entries. And block style, instead of large image, I want to make it thumbnail. And now as you can see, we have this style. This looks much better. Click on publish. All right, guys. So with this, your entire website is now completed. You can now cut this thing, your home page. You can now see your services page, blog page. All the other pages are now present. You blog page, contact page. Okay, one more thing. Contact page, this form is not fixed. Click on customize and open that file under pages. You have this CSS file, open this file. It will look something like this. Copy everything from here. Under customize, you will see at the left hand side custom CSS, click on that and paste in this thing over here. Now, as you can see, automatically your contact form style is now changed. Now publish this page and cut this thing. So with this, your website is now 100% completed. So I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. If you find this tutorial helpful and if you wanna watch more useful and amazing tutorials like this one make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future notifications if this video was helpful for you make sure to give a thumbs up to this video share it with your friends on facebook twitter whatsapp whatever social media platform you use and throughout the video if you have any doubts any comments any suggestions for me you can always leave them in the comments section below and thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.